everybody, and welcome to the table. Gentlemen, I don't think you're ready for this homebrew. I really, really don't. You don't think we're ready for what? I don't think you're ready for this homebrew. I just really don't, but I'm going to give it my best. I want you all to be prepared for this, our game, Dungeons and Drag... <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. Oh. That was thirty dollars well spent. Thirty dollars well spent. <laughs> <laughs> Tax write off. Yes. Boom. Yes. Business expense. It's fine. <laughs> Comedy isn't cheap. All right. Uh, roll for IRS. <laughs> <laughs> Four twenty. All right. So this is it. We're yeah, here. Yeah, We're we live. Are, we are here, yep. and we are live. So anything you want to say before we get started? Uh, I just a couple of things for the chat. We will not be able to see you during this. We will take a break approximately once every hour in order to run down uh, any uh, subscriptions, bit drops, things like that that might happen, and interact a little bit then just to, you know, stretch our arms. And there might be a chance where I may have to, like, draw something on this map currently in front of us, but that might just, like, be a chunk of time. Yeah. Like, like a two minutes or so. Yeah, but uh, regardless, we hope you all enjoy... We're, we've been looking forward to this for a long time. Uh, I've been trying to set this up for years yep. now, and finally I have a crew that is able to handle this. <laughs> and Grant, by the yeah. way. I'm also here. Yes, you are the new player. Get ready for me to ask, when do I become the dungeon or the dragon? <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is already way better than that time I tried to play fantasy football. They did not like me using a dragon as a quarterback <laughs> at all. Why Which, not? They would go so they would score so many points. Exactly. It's right there in the name. False advertising. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> all right, boys. So let me put this back up here. All right. So we all we all got Dungeons our character dragons. sheets here. Yes. We got we got our books in case we need to look at anything. Oh, and uh, one quick thing. Mm -hmm. Uh be prepared for DM bullshit if something needs to occur. DM bullshit, like, yeah, this is, no this problem. Is, this I, is more for the audience than it is for you guys. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like the way, the way I've always played is that, uh, uh, you know, whenever something needs to happen, like whenever something goes off or like a rule is not followed, it's like, well, just take the DM's word as law, right. basically. And also, as much as I'm giving a lot of shit on, like, Twitter and whatnot. I'm not looking to kill you guys yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yet. Okay. Give so, us at least a couple sessions to feel comfortable. Oh, yeah, no, start. no. Yeah, the key word being yet. Yep. Yeah. So when we die in the second session, it'll be by accident, not by design. Of course, okay. of course. Cool. It'll Blame be the dice, not, not, not anything <laughs> we else. Severely, <laughs> we're overestimated. <laughs> and oh. without further ado, let us enter the continent of Las Serranas. Yes. It is midday on the cargo ferry Vulton. Just setting sail for the mainland, heading to Jahal Cove. It is currently time for food, for water, for rations. The quarters are spacious, with various tables nailed down. All benches for everyone to sit, drink, and uh, get the mic close to their mouth. <laughs> <clears throat> so pretty much you guys are inside this ferry. The ferry is called the Vulton. You're on your way to Jahal Cove. You're a, it's about dinner time. You guys got on this ferry from the mainland heading over to Jahal Cove, like relatively around dinner time. The ferry was said to be the last one leaving out for a good long while. Uh, so right now you guys have like all got your, you got your rooms, you're all uh, situated. Now it's time to get something to eat. So you, all, everyone's now summoned down to the, to the gallery Kinda for everyone like to eat. Mess hall area. Yep, we're in the mess hall area. There's tables uh, all over the place. There's, uh, it's really, really spacious. You got a couple of people like sitting down, conversing, or just eating food to themselves. You do notice that there, uh, there are a few strange passengers that catch your eye, but nothing that you're going to like. Well, obviously, there's a centaur man here. <laughs> huh? there's, there's a centaur right there. Uh, there's a robed figure standing over, off in the corner. And, uh, I'm just part of the riffraff. Yeah, there, there's a, there's a gentleman going up there to uh, grab himself some gruel. Uh, by the way, uh, I want you to uh, take a gander at the woman who's serving you gruel. Why don't you go ahead and roll a perception, roll a perception? check? perception? Sure. Uh, each of us or just? Each, uh, each of them. Uh, each of you. All right. I, I've been surveying the crowd. All right. Give me a refresher. Rolling for perception. What Here, you got 20. That is a wisdom oh. roll. Uh, you get a bonus to it if you have proficiency in it, which you might because you're a rogue, yes, right? Yes. My perception's pretty good. All right. 17. I got, yeah, I got a 17 as well. 17. And I got a 7, which plus my uh, 4 is 11. All right. 
you're not really paying attention to the old woman. You're more paying attention to the security detail that's around the premises. That sounds like what I've uh, There's at. a bunch. What you have noticed is that a lot of guys uh, who are working here on the ship, they're in really long brown overcoats, really fine. They got uh, cutlasses on one side and pistols on the other, so you can tell this is security detail. There have been a couple of dwarves in the same outfit, but they look like they've been more careful with the cargo and whatnot. But you have noticed that there are times where a lot of the crew seems anxious about certain guests, like, walking towards different areas. Now, as for you two, you guys are hungry. You are hungry and you are thirsty. You both walk right on up to, uh, to get yourself some food. And uh, a really, like, wrinkly old lady now, like, just hunched over. She's starting to ladle some food into bowls. She turns around. Her face looks like a raisin. A dumpster fire raisin. Hey, kids. What do you want? Uh, whatever the special is. Oh, the special is what you want. Out of sync? Special? Hmm. Just keep what? going. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, I'm sorry. The seagulls were talking to me. <laughs> anyway. Yes, we have the special today. The special today is... Chicken noodle soup. Would you like some? It's good for your bones and for other things. Uh, sure. I'll, ah. t- I'll take some of that. And how about you? We don't get much of you around here. Yeah, we got three stomachs, all right? Some people think we only have two. We got three. I don't know where that third one come from, but fill, fill me up with them chicken soups. She's going to roll an insight check on that. <laughs> you, in fact, do have three stomachs. I want you to roll persuasion. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Persuasion. Eleven. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. You know what I think? I think you might go good in the chicken noodle soup, but not this week. That's for next week. I should also tell you that next week, if you were to come back on this ferry, the tiramisu is very, very good. Very good indeed. But anyway, you wanted chicken soup, yes? And you too. Yes, yeah, so... so- Pluses of sticking around for another week. Good tiramisu. Is you will kill me and eat me? Do I have this? <laughs> oh, no, dear. I was only fussing with you. You see, they keep me on this boat for a reason. She, like, lifts up her leg, and you're thinking, oh, no, this cannot be real. But then you start hearing the clackling of metal, and you notice that her legs are shackled. They keep me here. They keep me as a slave. This, you, in, you... this intrigues me. All right. They, they, <laughs> y- all right, what do you do? Uh, I'm just over here looking at security. Are you, like, do they take care, like, what, what? <laughs> do you, do you, do you, I, I am just, you, you actually notice. I'm not, I'm not used to people just, like, admitting to being slaves. <laughs> hey, let me tell you my story. Yeah, you, you find that a little odd, don't you? Yeah. Because you look over and there's a couple of security detail just holding their faces like, oh, God, she's doing it again. Look, look, mate, she's not, she's, she, we, she, we did not put her here. We did not put her here. She did that to herself. Lies! Lies, all of you. Chicken soup, yes. Yes. Now, would you like to have the secret ingredient in it? Is the secret ingredient a secret? (laughs) She, like, points her finger at you, just like, are you on to my secret formula? No, just the soup. Soup's fine. Okay. Soup is fine. Here you go. Maybe a hunk of bread. She, she like, ladles in a really chunky... It looks normal. It looks legit like chicken noodle soup. <laughs> All right. It and she a- gives it to you as well. All right. I... I eat the soup. Can I like converse with one of the uh, with one of the security guys? Because I I want to know <laughs> what the deal is here. I'm gonna go shuffle myself off to the side, like take down my bandana and just eat where nobody can. You make. both are eating. Roll Constitution saves. Ah, oh, mother. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> this fucking bitch. Already, this bullshit here in the uh, eleven. Eleven Would, as well. Eleven as well. No, it tastes like chicken noodle soup. It. Feels there's something. Oh, that's a good sign. There's something. <laughs> there's something to it, though. You feel a little bit of a tang to it, but nothing that, like, based on her just like spouting nonsense, it still feels like it's chicken noodle soup. Something else is added, but it's not bad. Thought I asked for no secret ingredient, but all right. Are you going to guess what the secret ingredient is? Oh, it's love, isn't it? I bet it's love. Oh, you're a cutie. I like I, you. I know. 
Let's see, uh, what could I roll to try to discern this? Uh, Perception, maybe? Uh, you want to just, uh, let's see. Survival? You could go, yeah, actually, no, that is legit. You can survival? do, you can do right. survival to see if you I'm can taste anything. I'm going to do survival to see if I can discern this flavor. Probably not. That's a two, uh, huh? Yeah, <laughs> that's like a, a uh, seven total. You, you, for all you know, it's chicken. For all I know, it's very lemony chicken. Okay. You wanted to go talk to one of the guards, yes? Yes. Okay, what did you want to ask them? One of the guards is... One of the guards is actually kind of anxious. He, like, like backs up a little bit, seeing what you are. <laughs> and now it's just like, okay, um, what's up? I, I, I'm just curious about the, the, the servant, the, the, the soup lady. Oh, you mean Grammy? Grammy, all right. She's... I don't know what sl what a slave is, but she got them shackles on. What's the story there? Yeah, kind of has to do with our captain. Uh, our captain kind of found her shipwrecked out in the middle of the ocean. We kind of think she's a sea hag. But uh, the point being is that he kind of beat her in a game of chance, and now she thinks she's his slave. And she kind of like brought herself in and shackled her in to serve food. We don't know why, but the food's kind of okay. It's not like it's bad. It serves us well. So we kind of just let her do her own thing. Just don't believe her when she says she's a slave. We take care of her. Can I, uh, can I roll, what would that be, insight to see if I think he's telling the truth? Yes. Okay. And I will roll persuasion. I rolled a natural one. You can read him like a book. He is telling the truth. <laughs> okay. Awesome. <laughs> I'm going to roll perception. I want to see if I see this scent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You, you don't oh, need... Is he clearly... You, you don't need perception. He is clearly a All centaur. Right. I'm going to head over to that centaur because as a swindler, I am confused at this new man here. And <laughs> I'm going to see if I can start setting up shop. <laughs> All right. Well, before you do that, I need you to roll me athletics because someone kind of bumps himself in front of you to try oh. and get in between you. Oh, darn, athletics is the one I don't have. I mean, acrobatics, I apologize. Ah, acrobatics. Yeah, like yes, yes. Handling. Uh, 18. Unfortunately, I rolled a nat 20. Oh. <laughs> Guy bumps into me, and I fly back till next week. Oh, no, you don't fly back to next week. He kind of, like, just jumps right in front of you. You clearly stop. But the problem is, is that this man is really tiny. Like, he is, like, up to your kneecap. That's how tiny he is. And he is, like... You see the back of his head, but you can see the ears pointed out, like, really, really far. Okay. This is a goblin who's now, like, looking at Eloy, just like, You don't know what a slave is, huh? I, now, I was... Is, is that, like, slavery? Because I had, I had someone tell me he was going to sell me to slavery, and I got away from that. That didn't sound like fun, but... Son, you don't sound like you've been on the sea before, have you? I have not. I've been near the sea, like, like next to it, on the, the beaches. But no, I, I grew up in the hills. Mm. That's fun. What do you got on your person? <laughs> I'm going to step up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And jump in on this. Uh, do I roll like intimidation or something if I want to? Oh, be well, what do you want to do? What do you uh, want to say to him? I'm basically going to try. Uh, I'm I'm going to try and convince Eloy that this is not a man he should trust. That this is. But that, this that you is, are. Yes. <laughs> <and> I, uh, <laughs> All right. Well then. Roll, you tell me a good argument, then roll diplomacy, and then you gotta roll insight, and then I gotta roll diplomacy <laughs> against that. Perfect. No, this is exactly the minutia I wanted us to get into. I'm sitting in the corner eating All right. my soup. <laughs> All right, so I walk in, clearly eyeing Eloy as a potential target or comrade, <laughs> depending on how things shake out, and see this goblin making way first. So I'm gonna go up and go like, you don't want to trust this guy. He's a goblin. Look at, just look at how he is standing and how he slid in here before I could get to you. Excuse he is clearly, me. He is clearly. Excuse me. You're gonna take that from the elf over here, Mr. Pointy Ears. For all you know, he could be Navy. I'm. Look at this outfit. I am not Navy. I have been hanging out on this ship all day. I, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you fellas. I have, I have a real hard time telling you two leggers apart. I mostly only see the number of legs, and I, I don't know. I'm <laughs> Insight, diplomacy, <laughs> diplomacy. Ooh, Persuasion. I... Oh, this man got a two, so this is not happening. I, I got a 20 on my insight. <laughs> I got a three. Oh, my <laughs> God. But with my persuasion, it's an eight. Ooh. Yeah, and with mine, I got a five, so you're the more trusting sort. <laughs> but he sees right through all the he bullshit. Sees, yeah, no, he sees right... The, the bullshit you can cut with a knife. <laughs> These but two are not to be trusted. I, th I think the line was, Hey, look, I was trying to get to you first, and then he got there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to 
wanted to talk to you and see what you were about. Yeah, and, and I wanted secret. to talk to him and see what he was about, but then the elf had to show yeah, up. Oh, stinky Mr. fellow over Mr. Here. Tall Man here. Yeah, come on. You can't even look him in Guys. the eyes. You'd have to take two knees down fellas, to look him in the eyes. Fellas, you know what I'm about? You want to know what I'm really about? I yes. Pull, I pull out my flute. I'm just about playing this flute and making people happy, and you two... You two seem so angry. Would you like Would you like a little flute song? Mm, with the flute, I could combine that with a dance routine and possibly entertain the seal. I would love to hear your song, sir. <laughs> you know what? The goblin now just like strokes his like really, really defined chin, scrubs his nose a little bit because it's like all the way out here. <laughs> He's like, go ahead, friend. Let's hear it. Okay. I play it. An actually entirely mundane song that I just feel they would enjoy. <laughs> Roll me no. a performance. Performance. Let's see. I got a... No magic involved. No magic involved. Uh, 12. Okay. Uh, you're not really putting a lot of heart into this because <laughs> these two don't... You don't feel like they deserve your best input. <laughs> but you play a halfway decent tune. You got a couple of eyes looking at you now. You uh, turn around. There's actually... You see another small figure kind of turn and look towards you. It's really weird because he looks like a little lizard. Okay. Uh, you got a very, very beautiful woman in a black trench coat and very, very, like, just pure red hair now turns to face you. There's a, a couple of other gentlemen in detail watching you as well. They're kind of just, like, bobbing their heads a little bit to the song, like, oh, this is all right. And then you got Grammy. You're getting extra soup, son. <laughs> extra soup. With more oh, secrets. <laughs> this this trip is everything I dreamed. <laughs> <laughs> Just meeting new people, making them happy. Yep. So you made you you pretty much made a name. You you made it okay for yourself. Everyone's kind of okay. Actually, roll me one more time. Uh, another performance. Yes. Okay. The flute playing. Center. Ten. All right. One quick second. <laughs> Gonna do some secret rolls here. Ooh. Oh boy. Hit a couple flat. Secret notes rolls. Now. Secret rolls. You see people start throwing coins at you. Pick up 64 gold. Ooh, 64 gold. Damn. Yeah. These guys are loaded. Which is kind of weird, don't you think? Yeah, a little. <laughs> yeah. Do, so, do I notice that? You do. Well, you do notice that a couple of, like, the guard detail, guard detail of all people is chucking money, and these are gold pieces. All right, something's up with this ship. <laughs> like... Don't get me wrong, I, how much did we pay to be on this ferry? You only paid like 10. 10 gold? Yeah. That's not bad at all. So these guys can't possibly be making all this money. All right, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I, my character's wheels are a-turning. Well, you can, see, you can see that exact look on Skrung this whole time. The little, the little is goblin that, is boy. Is that the goblin's name? That's what I'm going to call Our him. because he, he actually oh, he opens his mouth a little bit. Well, friend, let me at least tell you my name since I'm here, unlike some rude people. <laughs> Name's Skrung. You're not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're... You, who are you? No, we don't even care. My name's Skrung, friend. I, my, my name's Eloy. I guess we should know your name. Hi, I'm Ezra. A very trustable man. <laughs> I, I do not believe that, but I don't make a fuss about it. <laughs> Well, look, friend, uh, the reason why I came in front of you is because I wanted to at least talk to you. You seemed out of town, so maybe I'd help you with the ropes a little bit about how this goes. And uh, maybe would you like to be in a business venture of sorts? Of, of what sort of sorts? Uh, you know, a little, uh, I'm, I'm a deal breaker. That's what I am. That sounds like a good deal. You, you break... <laughs> You that, break the don't 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 worry your pretty little head about it, son. Let me just tell you something right now. I'm a deal breaker. See, that means that I have deals, and sometimes other people like this man have deals, and I break them so I can give you better deals. I I don't I don't know what kind of deals I need. I got I got all. Oh, this you need all kinds of deals. <laughs> I mean, I got all this gold, and 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 I'm playing my flute for people and making them happy. I'm that's good. That's really good. How'd you like a business venture in that? <laughs> All right, I, I'm going to step in. I, I, I've been watching this just from the side, and I feel a little bad for Eloy over here just getting marked. I'm, I'm just the bell of the ball. All right, so Look, uh, be before you step okay. in, like Grant do so, what do you want to do first? <laughs> Eloy, my good friend, notice how this guy is trying to take away your freedom and is already trying to rope you down to some kind of job. See, I told you it's happening! I was just curious to see what sort of talents you had and what could have brought a being such as yourself onto this fine ferry that we all find ourselves on. I, 
I just think it's funny that it's called the same thing as the little guys with the wings. <laughs> that is adorable. <laughs> All right, I have finished my soup and I'm walking over. It's like, <laughs> okay, friend, I'm going to step in here. Um, you're new around these parts, I'm guessing, to this part of the world. I look up and down, donkey man, not something I'm used to seeing, I'm guessing. And who the hell are you? I, you fed me soup, just... No, 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 oh. that was Oh, frog. sorry, it's <laughs> <frog. laughs> I've never seen Mammy and Scrum. My name is none of your business, and I'm just gonna, like, I, I'm gonna usher Eloy away here. <laughs> oh, I'm not friendly to rogues. Oh, no, Scrung, I, Scrung is just gonna sit there and just go, oh, is that so? Yeah. Don't worry. I understand. And he just saunders on off. Well, that wasn't ominous. All right. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to, I'm I'm like, just put my arm around Eloy's shoulder, try to, like, walk away and just, hey, like... Hey, way to go. Get rid of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell him that there are people out here that are going to want to try to take advantage of you. Um, they, they see you. You're a very kind person, a kind soul. And, uh, yes, they are. <laughs> they want to take advantage of that. They want to take your money. They want to take your time. They want to use you for their own good. Now, if you're okay with that, that's fine. But I just want to make sure that you know that there are some bad people out there, and they're going to try to hurt you. Well, gee, I don't, I don't want to get hurt. I, I just want to, you know, be free to travel around. You, you wouldn't want to. Nobody w- would want to take that away from me, would they? No, I wouldn't. That's the opposite of what I want. Well, you're, what you're, is this? Some kind of protection scheme? <laughs> you're, you're all still, you're still there. Like you're, you're right yeah, you're there. Just, you're just kind of following. Hey, come on. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> This guy, this guy sounds like he's giving you some sort of talk down, and he's gonna try and get you to pay him to be your bodyguard or something. You don't need something like that. You're a strong centaur man. You're independent. You can do what you want. <laughs> and what were you going to do? I was just interested in seeing how he got here. Just wanted to talk. I've never seen a centaur man before. <laughs> Me neither. I, roll persuasion to insight. Persuasion to insight. All yeah. right. Let's see. To at least keep him around. Uh. Roll to 17, plus my 5, 22. I bumped it. Yeah. I only got a 20, so you win. Nope, you get to say. You're, you're like, that's fair, considering. <laughs> this guy seems like a fine, upstanding gentleman. However, if he tries to offer you some sort of protection service and, and charges you for it, don't take it. One of, uh, another little fella, the other little fella that you were saying that I was talking about before, the one who's like a little lizard boy, mm-hmm. kind of tan scaled. He's, he's really dressed in some weird garb. He's got like a little bit of a, he has a turban rocking right now. He's got a gemstone like in his forehead strapped to his face, kind of like almost how like an eye patch would be, except it kind of straps down the chin. And okay. he's got a really fancy like garb. Like it's weird. It's like a robe, but with like leather straps that have all sorts of trinkets around them. Like, really weird symbols. He comes up to you and goes, Yes, um, unfortunately, I've traveled this ferry many of times, and what he says is true. It's, there's a lot of folks here who try to swindle bodyguarding. It's kind of very common. See? Thank you, young friend. What's your name, by the way? My name is Risp. Risp? Risp? Risp. Risp. R-I-S-F. Nice to meet you, Risp. Thank you for supporting me. Excuse me, Risf. You said you've traveled this ferry many times, right? Yes, this is actually my third time this day. Third time this day. All right. Um, you're, you're actually quite lucky. Um, truth be told, this might be the last ferry for quite some time. Hmm. I'll ask about that in a second. Uh, do you... Uh, <laughs> more on that later. Uh, have you noticed anything odd about the guards? They seem to be unnaturally wealthy. For oh, people well. of their station. Oh, um, do they not have the same wealth where you hail from? Mm, can't say they do, though I can't say I've come across too many. Well, our, our, the employer is a very wealthy man. He actually, this whole ferry is actually uh, a whole affair set up by the governor of, J- of Jahal Cove. Huh. And you said this would be the last ferry for a while. Is there a reason for this? Unfortunately, they don't give me a lot of detail, but since I am a common trader, I'm actually part-time medical advisor on this ship. So you're a doctor? Ish. In a sense, yes. I do sell a lot of uh, baubles, and while I don't find it within 
my realm of expertise. I have been told that it is nice to sell faith to those who'd lose some. Hmm. You getting this? I, it's a good service for those that need it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. How do you sell faith? He kind of like pulls off one of the little pins. Uh, roll me knowledge. Uh, roll me knowledge religion, all of you. If you don't have knowledge religion, that oh, is it just religion? I believe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just roll religion. Twenty. Eighteen. Twelve. Eighteen. You said. Yes. You can see that this is actually a religious symbol to uh, to a creature known as Deimos, one of the Shroud. Hmm. A religious object for the Deimos, member of the Shroud. <laughs> there, you, there you go. He uh, he actually turns his head and looks to you. Oh, then you are very keen on that of uh, religious figures. <laughs> I've been around a little bit. I wouldn't call myself religious. Yes, there are. Our collective on the island is very grandiose, and it's very diverse. It actually houses a multitude of gods to worship. Well, doesn't that just be... I, I was... would, would you like a symbol? Sure, I'll take one. Very well. That'll be ten gold, please. Ten gold? Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm a bit, life... I'm a bit light now, Padre. I don't think I can quite swing that, but thank you for the offer. Oh, I see. That's quite all right. We get a couple of those. I do happen to sell some other trinkets should anything ail you. If you feel seasick, I do have some potions to heal that. Hmm. That's nice, but I think I'll hold off for now. What do you What do you put in a potion to 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 make that? I I do a little bit of herb craft. A little bit. Of, I can splint up a broke leg. Like I I, I was kind of that guy back home. So I just professional curiosity. Oh. I'm, roll, I'm rolling for insight on this guy. I just want to see if he's, like, bullshitting everybody and just trying to con everyone. Yes. 13? You can't tell shit. He's, All right. He is far too gentle. He's, he's just this creature a is, blank slate. Yeah, this creature is far too gentle in his demeanor that there is no way that you could break through it. Okay. But for the most part, from what you tell, he's, like, talking Pretty from the heart. Fairly genuine? Yeah. The secret... Oh. Um, how normally... A lot of times when I'm on this ship, I usually ask her for advice. He uses the secret ingredient. Oh, what's the mm. secret ingredient? Wouldn't you like to know? I would. Take a guess. I already guessed love. Um, seaweed? No. <laughs> you get another guess. And Is it I people that couldn't pay for the ferry? <laughs> I tried that once, but no. <laughs> oh. All right then. <laughs> we appreciate it. You get your one honesty. more chance. Is it You're, she she welcomes you to have another bowl for you to taste it. Then I will if you take it and drink it again, I will allow you to roll a survival check. Okay, I'll I'll give it a shot. Uh, 12. It is out of your comprehension. You have no idea. <laughs> this right. is your last chance. <laughs> wasn't seaweed. Wasn't wasn't, wasn't love. love. Um, you haven't had. It, she looks to you. You haven't had a chance to ask. Do you think it? Taste. What is? What is it? What do you think it is? Uh, well, could I get a taste of this delicious Here chicken soup? <laughs> uh, I roll a seven. <laughs> This tastes just like water to you. You have, you have no idea what is in here. Is it seawater? No. You get two more chances. Oh, wait, do each of us get three chances? <laughs> yes. Ah, I've only taken one. <laughs> well, here, fish man, you can go ahead. Uh, go, you go ahead and dig your ch chance. I'm Ezra, by the way. I, my, by the way, my face is entirely oh, you're, covered. You're you covered? cannot tell yeah, what Yeah, he, he I is am. cloaked okay, right now. Sorry. Yeah, well, excuse I, I got, me, sir. I got a bandana on, a long brim hat. Like, you can't even see my eyes if I'm not looking up. Sir, do you want to give it another shot? Knowing that I'd have to remove my bandana? No. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll take another sip. <laughs> <laughs> and I roll a nine. Okay, uh, it's some kind of bird. There's some kind of bird in this chicken soup. Hmm. Poultry, I believe. Close, but no. You get one more chance. If I do it by scent, is that at disadvantage? 
Yeah, I'll get. I'll let you roll a disadvantage. That's pretty solid. Uh, that was a plus survival. Eighteen. This is Siegel. It's not much of a secret ingredient, although I was wondering where you got the chicken. Do you know what it is? Yeah. What is it? I want to see if he gets it first. <laughs> oh! Risk and Skrung are now just sitting here just like watching this go back and forth. <laughs> I'm just, uh, my eyes narrow. Curious about perhaps a new target. <laughs> I, sit here, I, I sit here snickering as you eat it. <laughs> I take another sip. You see a man who's over in security detail just sitting there watching this whole affair just laughing. He's, he's like snickering to himself. I taste it with a 12. Obviously, still not getting the chicken. <laughs> what the it's got to be chicken. It must be chicken, ma'am. You speak the truth. Oh, you flatter me, but that's not the secret ingredient. <laughs> it was seagull. Ah, its taste was covered by uh, the beauty of our waitress here. <laughs> you say that as a couple of the guard detail just go. Bleh! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> We the don't. rats of the sea skies. <laughs> she, she, yeah, because, because she like she just looks at you and just goes. <laughs> she slowly reaches her hand behind her back, goes underneath the skirt, mm. and pulls no. out a little potion and hands it to you. For your troubles, come back next week, and maybe you can find out what the secret ingredient that that is. If you're a lying cheater, mystery. Vile. It is a light blue vial, about yay big. <laughs> about yay light big. Blue. <laughs> huh? Are you going to try the secret secret ingredient? <laughs> is that this? Yes. Later though. Very well. A double I just secret. pocket it. <laughs> it's good for dessert. Good for your bones. Good for your heart. I'll take that under consideration. Riss kind of just like holds his little claw up. Trust me, whatever she gives you is not dangerous. It actually is quite beneficial. All right, You're well, going to will... keep us in suspense, friend? <sighs> Fine. Dunk! <laughs> you feel your entire body start to vibrate. <laughs> you feel an odd sensation of chill run down your spine, as you can now walk, like you look towards everyone and you actually see like they're kind of slowing down a little bit. She just gave you a shot of Cat's Grace. Oh, I should have saved this. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you get a plus two to dex rolls for the rest of this day. Okay. Jesus, I'm gonna be a monster. <laughs> if we get into combat for any particular reason, I can't imagine why we do that. Yeah, no, seems we're like so a... traveling so peacefully. Yeah, this seems like such a peaceful pleasure. Yeah, no, this whole trip is apart from talking to a swindler and a <laughs> fellow who does had no idea what the fuck is going on here. You, this ride has been pretty, like, pretty calm, pretty settling. A lot of the folks, like, apart from Skrung and this fine gentleman here, so far you've seen that everyone's kind of like friendly, being like doing their own thing. So far, I have been a noble thief. I just want to point <laughs> out, I have done nothing. Well, which, by the way, uh. You mentioned that goblin. I've been trying to keep my eye on him. Can I make a perception just to see if I ke have kept my eye on him? Sure. I'm going to roll something, too, for him. All right. That is a 17. He's gone. Mm. Mother... Son of a... Okay, he's good. He's good at this. He's good at this Yeah, he's, thing. he's just straight gone. Not even the guard detail can tell you if he went anywhere. Not even Risf knew where he went. Okay. Not even Risf! But Risf is so trustworthy. Of course he's trustworthy. Why the, wouldn't he be? The guy, the guy in the the guy who's been sitting there <laughs> stickering at this whole entire scene this whole time. Of course he's trustworthy. He's been working this for five years. Yeah, of course <laughs> he has. Of course he's trustworthy. Trying to sell off his little pennants and stuff like that. He's a, he's a valiant dude. I can't see any reason <laughs> to not trust him, at all. For reals, though. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a religious man, man of faith. I can dig on that. So. We now know the secret ingredient. We've uh, <laughs> discerned. She, she, she's now holding like two little vials to you two. Everyone gets a taste of the secret ingredient now that they know what it is. Oh, Hooray! Thanks. I add 
A what? small vial of cat's grace. It tastes like sky. <laughs> <laughs> so is that there anything else you gentlemen friend. want to do or say while around here? Uh, you've noticed that Skrung kind of just disappeared. No one knows where the fuck he went off to. All right, I feel awkward about that, and I have a rowboat attached to this ship that I kind of hauled with myself and then attached to the ship, I guess. So I'm going to go check on my personal belongings. Uh, where will you check on your uh, part of your... Uh, will you check in your room, or will you check a topside? Um, I probably would have hauled my chest into my room. All right. Uh, you go to check out your personal lodgings, and everything seems to be there. Nothing's gone. Nothing's missing. Now, do we all get our own personal yes. rooms on this ferry? Wow. That Everyone gets their really own nice personal ferry. I, like you said, you find it very odd that a lot of the guards are very well off that they could just throw you that kind of cash. So, something's off about the ship, and they're very, like, ag like again, when you start to walk off to your personal room, you kind of notice there's two guards kind of, like, block the way as you enter, so no one else can follow in after you. Huh. And then when you return, Explains they part the ten ways. gold for the ferry. So they're real, they're, like, again, they're very anxious when you decide to go in different locations, but they're very nonchalant about it. They just keep their eyes on you wherever you go. Yes, like there's, you can, like just going anywhere, you can tell you feel like you're being watched. Something is looking right. at while me. I'm, while I'm in my room, I uh, take a little bit of time just to like air myself out, stretch my fins a little. All right, so you have walked off scene. You two, do you want to do anything? I continue to talk to Eloy, trying to build a relationship here, a friendship, if you will. I'll give you a few minutes on that. Sure, Why don't yeah. you go ahead? State your argument. So, <laughs> Why <laughs> should he <laughs> trust and like you? Yes, Rift Rift has kind of just like took his way here. Do you mind if he's still in the conversation? No, or that's fine. If he wants to, he he is kind oh, of like off, kid. He is kind <laughs> of like eyeing, eyeing the fellow who was sitting at the table this whole time. So long, so long as Risf is not making it clear that he is trying to pull Eloy away from me, I am fine with him. Nope, he that. is clearly at peace in this whole situation. Right, he's great. just kind of interested to understanding how you guys are feeling because, again, he's actually never seen someone of his nature before either. So this is interesting to him. By the way, as I left, I bid them adieu. I'm not an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, not, stranger. Not, nice meeting you. Uh, so Eloy, you said that you just want to kind of travel around and play your magic, your, your beautiful flute. Uh, <laughs> just wondering, you know, what, what brings you here? Why this ferry? Why specifically to this spot? Well, you know, growing up, I never saw the ocean before, and I'd, I'd hear tales of, of the pirate folk just, you know, sailing around free, doing what they like, and, mm -hmm. and boy, that just always appealed to me. You know, when I was, when I was a boy up in the, up in the Hill Folk tribe, Imagine everybody you ever know knew was always there all the time. Oh. It's, it's terrible. It, <laughs> it is not a good place to be. There is, like, like look, our... That, Surrounded by familiar and loving faces? Can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, look, our, our friend there, he, he just went off to be by himself. You cannot do that in, in a donkey tribe, all right? There is no somewhere else to go. Everyone's always there. But it's always the same people. Here, there's all these people around, but they're all brand new every time. It's amazing. It I can, is I can cool. quite understand that, actually, Riff says as he holds his hand up a little bit. It's almost like in the Underdark in some sense, where we're always in the same tribe. I've, the same tribe as you put it. I just found myself wanting to get out and explore more things. And then when I discovered that I could explore <laughs> new things and also be able to make a monetary profit off it, it was quite nice and liberating. Hey, let me, let me ask you a question. You said you got all these little pendants and gigaws about all these all these gods. Yes. Where I'm from, everybody prays to Old Lady Big Rock Mountain to not send rock slides down to kill us. And I was never any good at that. You got you got any gigaws for Old Lady Big Rock Mountain in there? He's gonna roll to see if he understands <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, he rolls an 18, which is pretty good. He's not sure if he has something that you're looking for since he's kind of low on stock, but he does know what you're talking about. Unfortunately, I don't have any trinkets for the kind of god that you're asking for. However, I would ask that maybe when you get to Jahal Cove, you seek out the collective. Oh, all right, sure. Father Dorn is there. He'll actually be able to help you out with that sort of scenario. Father Dorn, all right, all right. I... 
Make an effort, <laughs> Father Dorn. Okay, gotta remember to talk to Father Dorn. Okay, I think I got it. Then the the felt. Uh, let's see. Yep, yep. So Father Dorn. Duh, 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 duh. All right, cool. So yes, there's a man at the collective called Father Dorn. Uh, and he, uh, you, and uh, Risk kind of like notices that he kind of butted in the situation, and he kind of just like steps back a little bit, like I'm sorry, please continue. Oh no, you're fine, friend. Thank you for uh, enlightening my buddy here. Uh, so Eloy. So your goal is to just travel around. You want to see places and meet new friendly faces and people. That's, that's, is, that, is that the idea I'm getting? Exactly. And I just I got this flute and, and, and back home, back home they said, see, we didn't, we didn't have a word for melody. Mm-hmm. We, we, we would play these bongo, these drums, and that was fine. That's percussion, I learned, is, is the official word for that. But we didn't have no like music like you have here. And, and when I learned this flute, it, it just like, it, it awoke something inside me, and I just wanted to share it with the world, but... The red-headed lady kind of just, like, blows a little bit of hair away from her face. That sounds like bardic magic, friend. No, 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 no. See, see, Herdmaster Jeb said it was, it was evil, wicked donkey man magic, and, and I didn't believe that, but he says the only good magic is the druid ways, and I was never no good about those, but... I mean, of course, it seems magical to me. I'd never heard music before, but it just, you know, it fills your heart up. That's all. Can I roll some, like, insight to see if I can pick up that he is talking about bardic, ma- bardic magic, and that is... Roll ar- arcane. Arcane? Okay. Ten. He sound- what it sounds like he's saying does sound like bardic magic, but... I'm just not sure. You're, yeah, like can't you can't pen it down. Well, the woman seems to be very yeah. like she she's just looking at it straight lace, sitting there just going, "It's bard magic." No, no, no. It's it's definitely not bard magic because magic see is that's something the druids do, and that's something that that wizards do with books and staffs and stuff. I don't I don't do that. I just play my music. The man uh, sitting at the little bar, uh, the little bar stool, is just sitting there just going, "This boy will make a fine pirate." <laughs> Uh, thank you, sir. That is the nicest compliment anyone has ever paid me. Pliskin. 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 <laughs> well, well, thank you, Pliskin. I'm Eloy. Yes, thank you very much, Pliskin. We are all very <laughs> proud of our friend Eloy here. <laughs> I feel like I'm just leading him around by the hand. Yeah, uh, you, you've now just, like, fucking handcuffed this boy in, the, in, in social conversation. I'm just very interested in a centaur man. Dude, you, you've made him to the play... toast of the party, yeah. so it's just like, at first he didn't trust you, and now he's made you the star. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and, like, say at this point, is there anything else specifically you would like to do, or? I was just trying to get Eloy's back background. I I want to know what got him here, what why he's doing what he's doing. Okay, no one basically else. basically using that to see if I can find any avenue to uh, strengthen my his trust in me. All righty. At this point, you guys have spent the rest of your time eating and drinking, uh, talking to each other, getting to know each other. It's a very fine group of people, except for Scrung. No one knows where Scrung ran off to. Mm. And actually, a couple of the details are a little worried about that, and they've been kind of walking around trying to find him as well. Uh, a couple of hours pass by. This ferry ride is going to actually be a day and a half's worth. So by now, it's nighttime, and you decide it's best to go ahead and retire. Uh, it's a very, very... Actually, not... It's a, it started off nice, like the boat was rocking very gently. Now you feel like it's starting to like kick up a little bit, like the you ship's turbulence. Like, yeah, a lot of turbulence in the water. You feel as though like the water is like just kicking up, hitting the ship. You can feel it as you're trying to sleep. It's kind of really disorienting. I'd like all of you to roll me a Constitution save. Twelve. Oh jeez. Uh, Seventeen. Uh. Nine. Okay, uh, what was your score again? Uh, t- 12. A 12? Okay. Oh, wait, no. I, I, I... A con save? Yeah, saving throws are up at the top. Oh, okay, yeah. So that would have been... 11. Yeah, okay. yes. 11? Okay, you two are just ha- not having a grand old time. You are very restless. You're not sick, but you could like this whole rocking of the ship is just making you very uneasy. You're not because like, you could just feel the water pound right against the wood right next to your head. Mm. So it's like you trying to go to sleep is just not happening. You, on the other hand, you're completely at peace with this. It's, I've, it's I've just been living, the ocean. I've been living on a rowboat. Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> 
Unfortunately, you start to hear the uh, clanging of a bell, almost sort of like klaxons going off. All right, I immediately get dressed. I'm going to go check out this. You don't need to because someone opens the door right up outside. I'm hiding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be out in a moment. We'll be watching. The man is standing there. This is the same thing for both of you. Another couple of guard detail kind of like just open the door outside now. Okay, that'd be great because uh, I can't sleep a wink. All right, I'm, I'm holding up this blanket as I'm like strapping shit to myself. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> he pulls the sheet down. Roll athletics. Oh, motherfucker. I'm just going along with this. Nat 20. Nat 1. <laughs> well, I think I win this one. Yeah. What happens to him? <laughs> now he's got a sheet over him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, he, he tries to pull, like, you just, like, squirm it out of his way, and, he, and you, like, apparently by your test of strength, he's just like, okay, no, you've clearly lost this. Let him get dressed. Yeah. As the fact that you're sta he's standing there watching you and waiting for you to get outside is well enough, but he was not... He, he doesn't look happy with the whole situation of what's going on right now. The klaxon's going off. He's wait like, oh, if you look outside, everyone's getting woken up right now. Everyone's being brought out. Oh, I believe it. I just did not pay 10 gold to get this bullshit treatment. <laughs> <laughs> so about, I put on what about, my shit. What about you? I groggily just get up and do as I am bid because <laughs> I've, I've learned that usually just going along with things until you see your opportunity is All right. the better way to go. They actually advise you if you have any sort of clothing that can protect you from the rain to do so because you're going to be going topside for this. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm doing that. Yes. <laughs> I have my long brim hat on. I'm fucking ready. I'm good. I, uh, I fastened the cloak I brought along. My shit is all meant for the water. <laughs> We, we just live outside all the time. I got this fur. I'm, I'm all right. So I'm buttoning my shirt. <laughs> all right. So everyone, uh, a couple of other, like, civilians are there. But noticeably, Risp is there. Plisket's there. The woman in red's there. And Skrung is there. Oh, Skrung. So they're, they're all just, like, all groggy. Just like, oh, what is going on? Why, why are we outside of all things? Skrung is very displeased about this out of everyone. Risp is just kind of just there, just like, oh, I'm sorry. Did something happen? What, what, what's with all the noise? And then a crusty old man kind of just like hobbles his way over, just like lurching himself with a cane that clearly looks like the hilt is cut off because there's a sword blade in there. He is just not okay with what's going on, that he's disheveled. He, this is clearly the captain. He's like 50 years old. He's been at this for a long time. His coat is all tattered. His beard has salt in it. Yes, he's got he's got quite the lavish beard, but this is a man who just clearly woke up along with everyone else, but he is not happy. Is everyone wondering why we're all up here? A little. Yes. Is, is it a bad story? Take a guess! <sighs> <laughs> Roll the nat one. <laughs> Pirates. You'd be right in some regard. Okay. I, uh, I'm rolling a Persuasion 15. I'm going to be acting like I am super tired, but I am still, like... That's performance. Oh, that's performance? All right, well, in that case, it's also a 15. Okay. Uh, and I'm, I'm acting like I am tired and, like, kind of out of it. He kind of just, I'm, like, hobbles his way I'm over to you. Fine. What? And whaps you in the face with ah! his cane. Damn it. What was that for, Cap? For two points of damage. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Belts you. Wake up! Okay, fine. Jesus, fuck! <laughs> Damn. My nose! Now, if anyone has anything else funny to say, speak your piece now before I tell you why we're all up here. I got this joke book. <laughs> roll not roll acrobatics. <laughs> Eleven. Yeah, you're taking a whap to the face with the stick, too. <laughs> <laughs> Two points of damage. <laughs> Anyone else got anything funny to say? No? Good. Has anyone, has anyone here noticed how a lot of my boys have been making sure that no one goes into places where they don't belong? I noticed that. Have you now? Yeah. Good. Because one of our crates is gone! And no one is going back underneath until we find out who's responsible! I look over at Scrung. I don't say anything, but I look over to him. He looks over at you. <laughs> what? 
Let's shift back. <laughs> now, does anyone here have any bright ideas as to why, where, when, and how? Excuse me, Captain. If we might be able to know what was in the crate, maybe we'd have a better idea of who might have tried to take it. That's done for you to know. All you need to know is, is that someone on the ship took crate, cargo. This is a ferry and also a cargo ship, son. How many people are on this ship? Uh, okay. You, do you ask him that? Uh, sure. You How many him? people are on this <laughs> How many you can Yeah. How many people are on the ship? Like, if we could narrow it down some, just know where we're starting so we can know where we're going. There's a... F when you last went up, this, up to the top side, you uh, saw that there were like four or five uh, folks just running around checking rooms and stuff, mm -hmm. and also making sure that no one goes upstairs, uh, no one comes back downstairs. Excuse me. Uh, so, including the five that were down there, there were 12 people who were working security and uh, also part of the ship. The captain himself, uh, you three, the. Uh, Three, four, five. The five other uh, people on there, because Grammy's not down there. Grammy's not up here. Grammy's still shackled down there. <laughs> she did it. <laughs> yeah, Gra you, you, you <laughs> notice that Grammy didn't come upstairs. But uh, with the security detail, with you guys, with the other people you've been talking to this whole time or have had interactions with, and probably about, like, seven, eight other just, like, regular Joe Schmo humans that are all just as annoyed about this as you are. So, like, 30 people? Yeah, something like that. I'm going to roll perception just to see if anybody's acting strange. That would be insight. Would that? Okay. Yep. Well, insight it is. For both wisdom, so uh, 15. A 15. Let me roll my big old secret die. It's a regular die. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well... You see, uh, Risp, uh, you look at all, everyone else around you. Risp is kind of just, like, squirming, like, really scared about all this fucking loud shouting and everything. You notice he's, he's like, scratching his ears, like, trying to, like, hide his, like, hide the voice that's bellowing in, in front of him. Pliskin's kind of just sitting there just like, can I just go back to bed, Captain, please? Red is also, the, the red-headed lady, I'm going to call her Red from now on because you don't know her name just yet. Mm -hmm. She also is just like, this is ridiculous. Can I please just go back inside? Skrung, on the other hand, is kind of just like taking this in stride, just sitting there, kind of uneasily so. Like, he's got this sense of, like, this is common. Like, th this has happened to him before, and this is just running through the motions. Right. So he shows up, things go missing, people blame the goblin. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's very well accustomed to the fact that it feels like people will just blame him because he is the goblin. So he's just like, all right, all right, throw your insults, let's go, come on. Is the captain right now like, like am I able to talk to people without being punished? Oh, or yeah, no, is... no, he's, he's like, the captain is just like sitting there watching you guys. He's, he's like, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a couple of my boys come around and ask you questions. No one's going to go back downstairs until we get to the bottom of this. All right, but if I try to head over to Risp to just start a conversation... Oh, yeah, he will not... He, he, he won't, won't care. Yeah, he, at this point, the captain's kind of just like, all right, make peace with yourselves until we find the culprit right. responsible. I walk over to Risp and ask, hey, you said that you've been on this cruise for a while now. Does this kind of thing happen a lot? No, this is the first time I've ever seen something like this happen. Mm. I don't even know what the cargo was that was stolen. Normally, we usually just ship medical supplies or food or something from the mainland. Lots of luxury trinkets. Can I ask a question, Mr. Captain? He like you hear like a whip <laughs> crap as he's like turns. What? When was the last time you saw the crate that's that's gone missing? Why, when we left this ship, my boy? When we first got on the ship and we left port. Oh man, that doesn't narrow it down none. Okay, stupid question. Thanks. Four hours ago, <laughs> mind you. Four hours ago. Oh, okay. Well, that does narrow it down some. All right. Well. You've had these good old boys watching all of our doors and knowing that, making sure that we didn't go nowhere, so can, can we just rule out the people what was in their rooms? Roll diplomacy. Or uh, persuasion. I keep calling it diplomacy because of fucking, uh, because of Pathfinder. Ooh, that's, that's a, a 25. 
<laughs> e- Eloy is very persuasive. He just has to believe what he's saying. He's no good at lying. Mm. He kind of like grumbles to himself. He's just like, oh, you, you, you think it's one of my crew then who did it, do you? It's a possibility. Hmm, they were unnaturally wealthy. <laughs> of course everyone's unnaturally wealthy. We're under the employment of Mr. Mead. Dude, what would I roll to see if I know who that is? That would be a knowledge check. It was 11. Yeah, what would he add, intelligence? Yeah, would I add intel- intelligence to that? Uh, or wisdom? That would be intel, yeah. Intel, so 12. 12? From what you heard uh, on the mainland, that this Mr. Mead fellow, he was a... Uh, uh, from what you, t- what you were told, he uh, used to run a couple of, like, really high-class nautical ships, like... He used to be, not the Navy, but, like, he used to, like, run as a privateer. Okay. And now he's kind of retired himself to be the mayor of Jahal Cove. So he's got kind of a uh, background on the high seas, but beyond that, you can't really grasp anything else he's about retired him. retired to be mayor. Yes. He was a uh, very, he, he's, he was kind of a big deal. Like, what he's been known for is actually to uh, make sure that pirates don't actually steal from uh, cargo ships. Oh. So he was kind of like very a very thing big. That may have just happened. Mm. <laughs> so it would seem. Anyone else got any bright ideas? We'll check the crew out later. But right now, since you're the only people here who I have no idea who you are, maybe we should check you out first. Hi, I'm Eloy. I know you are. <laughs> you wrote that down four times on our piece of paper. I Hi, d- I'm Eloy. Four times on the sign-up sheet. <laughs> Look, most people in my tribe didn't know how to write, and I have no idea if people can read what I write down, so I was just making sure. I know, because you had Pliskin write it down for you. <laughs> and thank you so much, Pliskin, for your help. <laughs> kind of just like No solicitor. problem, boss. <laughs> <laughs> anyone else? No one? No one going to talk to anyone else on the show? I, I am just ready to be questioned by the guards so that I might be able to go back to my own room. All righty. I'm going to go talk to Skrung. You're going to go talk to Skrung. All I'm right. going to go talk to Skrung. Skrung <laughs> is just sitting there, like, holding his hand on his, on his cheek, just looking up at you. What do you got to say about me? Because I know it's on your mind. You don't strike me as a cliche. I know you're shady, <laughs> but you don't strike me as somebody who'd get caught this easily. It seems too obvious that it's you. You seem like some thank sort of red you? herring character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. I noticed you disappeared a while back. What were you doing? Going off to eat? Mm-hmm. Like away every, from the mess. Yeah, get, getting getting away from the people who were kind of looking at me jeerily. I guess that's fair enough. <laughs> you disappeared pretty good, though. The guards were looking for you. I noticed that on my way back to my room. Well, they found me in my room like a couple of hours later. So what does it matter? I'm just saying you're probably gonna be the one everybody's looking at unless you have. Of course else. I am. I'm a goblin. Ah, uh, fair enough. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> just like just <laughs> always throwing the goblin card. Put it back in the deck. <laughs> 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 it's just he he turns and looks over to wrist. He's the kobold. Why don't they fucking question him? They're usually shifty little fuckers, but no, they gotta point out old Skrung. He is very irritated by this. And Risp is just saying, there's like, oh, I'm sorry. Stop apologizing! They would make a Have you met before? Duo. No, we haven't met before. But he's a kobold, and most likely the small little people, like, you know, all the gnomes, the goblins, the half el- the halflings, sorry, half- halflings, anything that no one, none of you tallies can see, you usually point out us. That's fair enough. Yo, Cap, how big was this crate that went missing? About as big as any other crate. Mostly about, probably chest high to you. How heavy? Why are you asking questions? <laughs> I'm trying to help. Oh, like, that's, that's, that's a good point. If it was too heavy, then, then a smaller person couldn't have done it. Without magic. Oh. The captain, like, eyes widen at that. What did you say? I said without magic, a small person would not have been able to lift such a thing, and there are two small people here. He looks over to Risf. You. 
You! He, like, hovels over and picks him up by the back of the shirt. It was you, then! That's not what I said, but... That, that, <laughs> this one knows magic, and you know what it's like when magic is on the high seas! A little. Roll knowledge. <laughs> An abundant amount. An abundant <laughs> amount. <laughs> you, know, you know for a fact that magic is seen by anyone on the Navy, uh, anyone on, the, on a ship, is that that is a naval course of action. They, like... Na the Navy just runs on magic. They are nothing but pure magic. Their ships run on the arcane. At least they're green. For people who are pirates, this is very disconcerting. Because they like to use science and more logical means of getting across the water, rather than just letting the <laughs> ether or anything that just comes out of a plane that's not material help them do things. So, Captain, you're saying your issue is not a pirate issue, but a naval issue? It could be both. Have you never heard of a couple of pirates who use magic? Pretty frequently, I might add. I'm having vicious flashbacks of my youth. <laughs> a few. Then you know what it's like. This little bastard might be the one who did it. I, I, I didn't do anything wrong, I swear. You're the only one here who knows how to use magic. Do you know that? Of course I do. Do it. He, like, he like grabs him by the back of the neck and is like, like throttling him to like... Come on, cast magic! I know you can! I've seen you do it before! Put the boy down! What did you say? I said put the boy down. Every guard is now standing at attention looking at you. <laughs> well, now I'm the bell of the ball! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, it uh, looks like it's about six. We might want to take a little fiver. This is good. No, this is a good thing. stopping point, actually. Yeah, All I'm, right, we're going to take a break to... Uh, Read off some stuff. I'm going to go pee before I get my shit stopped in. <laughs> I'm going to fill up my cup. Yep. We're going to read off some bit drops, and I'm going to see, uh, see Do we have a guys... thing that can throw us to commercial break for anybody that's not a sub? Let's do that real quick, and we'll be right back at the table. Woo! Yay! Hello, and welcome back. So, we're in an awkward situation. Yeah. Put the boy down! <laughs> I want everyone... Oh, actually, not everyone. I want you two to roll me a perception check. Us two? Yes. All right. Oh, boy. Eight. Uh, Eleven. You hear something, like, just off the side of the ship. There is, like, you hear, you have been hearing waves crash upon the ship. That didn't sound like a wave crashed upon the ship, the one you're standing on. Oh, no. Everyone turns their heads as there is now what looks like a frigate coming your way to the side of the ship at ramming speed. Where, where's, where's the button or lever or whatever to get out of the way of that? It's called rolling athletic check because this thing just rammed the ship. All right. Well, that takes the... Takes the wind out of my sails a little. <laughs> 10. 21. 19. All of you hold on with absolute grace and just poise. Nice. You guys take this pretty goddamn well, but oh boy, this thing hit the side of the ship and it tilts over us uh, just a big smidge. <laughs> there is now the front of a ship embedded into the side of this ferry. See, and here everybody says, you're a centaur, you're bad to have on a ship. Look at this, four legs, low center of gravity. I'm real good at this, y'all. <laughs> All right, I got to roll for everyone else real quick. You are a treasure, Eloy. <laughs> everyone except for the captain and Risk all take this in stride. Cap the, the captain himself and Risk are now cascaded to the other side of the ship. Almost falling off, it seems. I snicker at the thought of the captain falling over. <laughs> uh, I'm going to rush to try to help them. All right. Uh, roll me another. Uh, what, are you gonna, what, what exactly are you going to try and do to help them? Uh, make sure they don't fall off the ship. I'm going to try to like grab them as they're falling. Okay. Roll me acrobatics to at least get to them. All right. 23. You... You run over with absolute ease. Now roll me athletics to grab onto the captain who's holding on to Risk. Uh, to do, do that would be my guess. Seventeen. You grab him by the scuff of his shirt and pull him, cause 
If you didn't grab them, they would have capsized right off the ship. I maintain eye contact the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you are, because now that while you're holding on to them, you start hearing, Board the ship, boys! All right, now I look back. <laughs> you watch as a slew of orcs start jumping onto the ship. Oh, no. <laughs> Everyone roll me a perception check real quick. Ha! Nat 20. Nat 20. 15. I also got a 15. I have. No you, night vision, but I'm doing okay, I guess. No, you're doing okay. Out of amidst of the chaos, you actually do notice that a couple of civilians who are now, like, running in, like, just peril and agony and just like, No, what the fuck? Oh, no! You see a small figure run towards the entryway into the galley. Do I recognize and something? Small and figure? No, you do. You recognize those pointy ears anywhere, but something else is chasing after him. And it's got really long red locks. Hey. What will you guys do? Because at this point, any of those, any of the security detail that haven't been pushed over or are being ascended upon by orcs is trying to fight them back, but they're not really going to any avail. However, you did notice that Skrung and the red-headed lady are now rushing their way back down underneath. What will you guys do? With the commotion, I try to sneak away. How do you, where do you sneak away? Uh, into like the cabin area where everyone's stuff You're is. going into the where, galley where then. Where Sprung's going? You're going where Sprung's going then. Then yeah. I, I thought he was going into the galley of the other ship. If he's going into our galley, yes, I am definitely following in there. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's where I want to go. Away from all this fighting and fussing. What about you? Mm, I hate playing with metagame information, but <laughs> I have been curious about Sprung this entire time. You're going to chase Are after Sprung? How many orcs are on deck? Uh, from what you've seen, there are about five that just jumped on the ship, but there are plenty more coming off that uh, the frigate that just rammed into you. All right, so my options right now, like, it, it, like what I'm thinking through is my options now are to help the guard on the ship right now to fight off some of these orcs and maybe save a couple of them. Or maybe let them do their job because they're paid very well to fight things like mm -hmm. this. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, over, maybe I'm underestimating them. <laughs> maybe. Riss kind of, like, sees that you helped him out, but he, like, kind of, like, just kind of shrugs you off. He's just like, no, go, in, go back inside. We'll make sure everything's safe. Go, please. How'd that Riss? Like, so. he, Riss is now, like, looking, like, while, like, the captain let him go, Riss is now, like, trying to runs over to Pliskin and now is trying to escort civilians to get out of there. At the same time, I have a burning hatred for pirates. <laughs> <laughs> I glare at them, but I run inside because I'm way more curious about what... Uh, and I feel like I'm going to get a chance to fight some of these anyway. Uh, I, I, I have a burning interest in what the hell Skrung has going on. All right. So I let go of the cap and I'm like, your, sh your ship, Cap. All right, the three of you go down into the galley after the red-headed lady and Skrung. Uh, you all notice that, apart from the fact that there's water barreling through into the galley, and uh, the part of the ship is kind of, like, broken in, you see Gra Grammy just sit there. Eh. <laughs> Can all right. That, that's going to be real bad for you if you're shackled down there. Well, well, this place fills up with water. Can you, can you take that off of yourself? Is that a... She, like, taps the side of her neck with two fingers. I mean, do you need help? Are you all right? Gals. Oh, okay. Hey, how's that working out for you? <laughs> why are you down here? I am barreling towards the... Why, did, the, why are all of you coming down here? This place is going to fill up with water. Those other two came that way, along with the four other things that were sitting in there. Thank you, I run that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, now you're going to have to give me a few minutes because i got to draw a map. Go for it. <laughs> Do it. Here we are. See, I didn't even realize they were going down there. My plan was I was just going to run down and, like... I didn't say anything about bringing my weapons with me, so I was just going to run back to my room and arm myself. Personally, I'm glad I didn't have to fight every guard on this ship. <laughs> like, that's, that's, a, that's a plus in my mind. Yeah. 
not having to do that typically a good thing. Helps. Because I can't imagine there's like being like a good in player situation where it's like, yeah, no, it makes sense. I'm going to help him. <laughs> <laughs> This guy who is making things harder for himself and, and anyone everyone <laughs> around him. <laughs> okay, and this is where the break is. See, I was ready for the captain to be like, you passed the test. You asked the right questions. <laughs> and let's add a little blue on to here. Oh, you look at the characters? There's yeah. a couple in there. I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys chips. Don't worry. Okay. I remember we specifically bought things for them. Yep. So there's now water kind of capsizing into here now. And you guys, let me grab your dice. Uh, not your character, sorry. This is a learning experience for everyone. Yep. <laughs> Bear out. with us. We're still figuring out our format, figuring out how we want to do, how we want to be. All right. So I'm going to, uh, this is a, this is not a person I was looking for for you, but uh, we don't. There are. We don't have a lot of centaurish looking things. We don't have a lot of centaurish <laughs> looking so. things. I'm gonna so. give you this. I, I, I did give. I know I took the one you have, but it's too top heavy. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's unfortunate. All right. Here's you, and here's you. All right. Where are we starting on this All sucker? Right, you guys entered on the side of the ship right here. Okay, so we're down here. By the way, this is just for our benefit. Like, yeah. We're we're gonna be crafting this story as we go. Yeah. yeah. So you're gonna be like you decided to race over to here. Okay. So you're on your way here. I'm on my way over that way. Yeah, make sure you stay on mic when you're... Yeah, yeah. All right, so... Until we get wireless ones. Boy, won't that be handy. Oh, that'd be fucking super oh, handy. Oh, it, it'll be nice, but boy. All right. I've had bad luck so, with wireless mics. Yeah. Are you guys going to follow him? Because uh, Grammy just told you guys that... Yes. They went... The, oh, Scrung and the red-headed lady went into the cargo hold. I'll follow. Does, does it seem like there's less water happening there? Yes. Then I am all in favor. <laughs> all right. So you guys head over. You open the door. Uh huh. What is inside? You hear gunfire the moment you open the door and kind of shut it instinctively, like back over. Then you peek <laughs> over in there. You see Scrunk kind of like hidden behind a barrel, like holding a pistol up, just like I thought we had a deal. Then you then you hear from the side. Ah, right, mate. Well, I hate to break this to you, but Cesar never liked you in the first place. So we're just gonna go ahead and off you. Son of a bitch! Uh, I hate it when stereotypes are right. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, hey! You know what? Uh, I could use your help. Why don't you help me out with this so none of us all die? None of us, you say? Wow, right. that's a Do you like strong claim. <laughs> roll. I want you to roll me a deck saving throw. Ah, good. The thing I'm built for now. <laughs> yes. Let's see, plus six, 17, 18, 19. You hear a gunshot whiz past your head. <laughs> There's more of them! Well, I guess I'm in this now. <laughs> All right, I, ro I, roll, I roll into the room. All right, what about you guys? We can roll initiative here. All right, yeah, I was gonna let's do it. Yeah, I, 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 sounds I like about initiative time. <laughs> Is it? Safe to assume that my daggers that I have were just yeah. on me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Seventeen. Eleven. Oh wait. Plus two. Uh. Nineteen. Sixteen. Oh boy. I'm. I'm kind of like. I'm like. Oh man. You guys picked this encounter. <laughs> well, I mean, they oh man, ran. we sure did. <laughs> they rammed us, and we went inside to get out of you know the yeah, splash harm's zone. way. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could have stayed on deck to fight guys, but. Now, for sake of reach, just tell me where you want to go. I'll move your guy and you just describe it. Yeah, it's fine. All right, so we got. Okay, so a bunch of people are taking shelter behind crates inside this large room here. We got another dude. We got another two dudes. Right wow, that's here. a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're um, well. Here's the thing: is that here's Scrung, by the way. He's kind of hidden right there in the corner. 
All right, so Scrung, right. Is, Scrung is like, as I roll in, he is right there, right next to me. Yes. Your immediate that looks right. like we got about six dudes back behind those crates. Well, for what you see is that, well, you can see this, is that you got a couple of dudes hiding in the corner, but there are two other guys who are more, uh, they're more keen about grabbing the cargo and getting back out towards the broken part of the hole that they broke into. Okay, and is there an entrance to their ship there? You can't tell from this distance. That's not where the ship crashed. That, the ship that, crashed that, in the middle of the boat. This yes. is this is a new hole. Yes. Okay, so gotcha. They're using the storm as cover. All right, everyone roll initiative. All right, I was 19. 16. 11. 19, 16, and 11. 19? Uh, 19. 19, 16. I'm the one with the plus two to dex from that <laughs> lady potion. Yep. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> And now I roll for these chuckle fucks and Scrung. All right, I'm just going to say, when I rolled in, I rolled in, like, kind of right next to Scrung, so I'm sitting next to him by That's that fair. box. Okay. Okay. Uh, next... All right, so 19 was you. So. Yes. Do I see a red-headed lady in here anywhere? Because they both came running this way. You do not see a red-headed lady. Okay. You were uh, 16, correct? Yes. Okay. Grant, and you were 11. Correct. All right, you get to go f Oh, wait, wait. Got to roll for Scrong, sorry. Oh, he's dead last. You get to go first. All right, so I look up, I see, uh, how, how many of these figures in the room can I see? Can I see all of them, all? You can't see the one, uh, you, you, you can tell that there are four in front of you and one behind the other one, like, trying to get outside with a crate in his hand. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Like, they're, the two people who are in the middle next to the smaller crates, they're trying to, like, just grab, like, they're trying to, like, conveyor belt their way uh, with all the stuff inside of it. All right. So, like, they're, 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 it looks like their primary objective is getting the cargo out. I am not skilled when it comes to ranged combat, so I'm going to have to get in close, and hopefully you guys can take out a few from... I have a crossbow. Good. Good. That's going to be great. Firing into melee is my favorite thing to do. <laughs> um, as I move out into action, I tell Skrung... We're going to have a talk after this. Whoop. And I uh, <laughs> run, up, run up here, like run past these two crates. Yep. And I attack the guy that's blocking the guy that is... Uh, oh, you're attacking the assembly line then. Yes, I'm attacking the assembly line. All right. Uh, how are you going to do this? Well, first I'm going to, uh, as I am running out there, I'm going to take my uh, jury-rigged quarterstaff spear off my back. And I am going to attempt to, like, you know... Superman punch, like, stab the first guy I'm going in towards. You know you have reach, right? You can actually attack from 10 feet with that. Yeah, but I can't use my bonus melee attack if That's I do true. that. That's true. All right, roll to hit. All right. To hit, we got a 18. I'm guessing that's probably going to hit. That's going to hit, yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, D6 for the spear plus strength. That's eight damage. And then uh, bonus attack, I'm going to uh, follow that up with a roundhouse kick to the face. That's a 14 to hit. That misses. Okay. So stab, miss. Yep. You try. Position. You, you, you hit him in the arm, and he kind of, like, hobbles his way, but it ducks right over. It, like, just goes right over his head. Okay. So the roundhouse kick missed, but you did get his arm, and he kind of dropped the crate he was trying to hold. Okay. So now everyone's aware that someone had the balls to come up as they all let's just go. <gasps> Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas. Grant, you're up. All right. Um, so I'm at that doorway. I want to sneak to be behind that crate that is next to Scrung. Roll uh, stealth. Stealth. There you go. Going to roll in there. Nat Ooh. 20. There you go. No, you are invisible. Yeah. I, I, I have will, I, I have deferred I, I have deferred a lot of attention away from that doorway. <laughs> I will grant I will grant you ten extra feet for that roll for that natural oh, roll. Oh neat! 
Well, I'm still just going to that box. I'm not planning on getting in close to this. <laughs> How tall uh, is that box that you rolled behind? That is uh, waist high. Okay, so, so. He's, he is like crouched over like this. Mm. But, they did not but, these, but these bigger ones are chest high? They're, they're well above. Oh, above they're, they're like gotcha. Well, then if that's the case, can I sneak over to that one that's like opposite yes. where Strong is? Yes, then you I, can. Then I get there. I didn't realize that one was right, so, so small. You got like half cover here. Yeah, okay. and now you can see that there's another guy like trying to pry open the bigger chest with a crowbar. Okay. Uh, am I able, like, is that my only action? Am I able to shoot no, you my can crossbow? Attack. Cool. You can attack. All right, I'm taking aim with my crossbow. Uh, well, just remember, the guy in front of Lanny uh, just took a hit. So yeah. the assembly line worker just got hit. Just got hit. Yeah, I'm assuming the guy next to him is also on that, like, passing people yes. assembly line. But the, he's, everyone, everyone but in he's the now reacting and, like, reaching for a gun, I'm yeah, guessing. Yeah, everyone in the middle is the assembly line. Behind crates are dudes with, like, weaponry. Okay. All right. Um, so from my vantage point, I probably can attack the dude that's kind of like right there, right across from where Lanny is. Like yes. Right, right the the dude I did not attack who yes. was on the assembly line. Yes. I'm going to try and uh, hit him with a crossbow bolt. Go for it. Uh, all right. And you add your ranged bonus, which is typically just your dex. Yeah. Uh, so 14. That does not hit. Oh, wow. This guy's got a pretty high AC. No, it kind of... It, yeah, it kind of, like, goes into his arm, but then tanks off. Okay, so it just not quite enough to get through his Like, armor. you you saw it kind of, like, stick there for a second, but then just, like, mm. Tune right. your bow better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're up to boy behind the crate that sees you. I now have 19. Oh, pulls out a blunderbuss. And this is going to hit all of his friends alongside that as well. He's not very smart. What is your AC? Love set. My like AC is some... 17. Splash damage. He rolled a two. <laughs> ha! I dodged it. So yeah, you dodged it pretty fucking well. Let's see about his other friends. All right. Well, he hits one. Of, he hits the guy you're in front of. Okay, so he hit the guy that I stabbed. The, the ship is rocking so hard that he kind of like jeered his arm and he point blank like put it next to the guy's temple and took a <gasps> shot. Like, what? Frank! Whoa! <laughs> <Ooh! laughs> Let's roll damage on him. <laughs> hey, he's fine. Well, that guy doesn't look pretty anymore. No, he blew his head clean off. Oh, well, he really doesn't look pretty. <laughs> then again, he was an orc. Look like you have a good. If anything, shot to it's miss. an improvement. Am I right? Oh, got him. Ben, you're up. He's just like, oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am. I'm going to sneak so around let's, the... Let's actually get rid of that guy first. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's all good. I got him. I got him. Get this dude right here. He's fucking dead. Blah! So the guy I tried to shoot, my arrow bounced off him, and then his friend blew his head off? No, no, no. His friend blew the guy I stabbed oh, okay. head off. Your guy is like he the one him. next to me. Okay. Yeah, he missed him. All right. All right. What you doing, Eloy? Yeah, can I can I see what's going on from from back behind this doorway? No, nah, you can barely see that there's an orc who just dodged a blunderbuss hit to the face. <laughs> yeah, and you can you can uh, basically I'm pretty sure you can see Ezra from the doorway. You, you watched this and you wood can see that dude. You watched this wood splintered. Hmm. I'm going to let's see. Here, I, I can I can move you. Just tell me where you want to yeah, go. Yeah, just uh, back behind that uh, that half cover crate. Yeah, this just one? right there. All right, um, just gonna trot in. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna. My name's Eloy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> I, I'm gonna gonna whisper to nobody in particular because they can't see Ezra. What? Watch this. This is a great trick. This is real good. And I'm gonna cast sleep on the group of orcs. Dude, oh. roll it. Let's see here. So I'm going to roll 5d8. Let me find an 8 side here. Yeah. Uh, 5d8? Yeah. I have a d8. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's... Hmm. that's you know what? I'm, unfortunately, I have a d8 right here, but you're going to have to like that's yeah, roll five times. Sorry. That, no, here. that's fine. Take a second. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, that's, that's one. So that's eight. Uh, five. Yep. So... 13. Ooh. Uh, 13 plus, what's that, another 15, so. 27? 27, yeah. 13 plus 15 is 28. 
Oh, 28. There you go. Yep. Sorry. Mental math. Math. <laughs> I'll take back my wipes. Not I'll that I it. have much need for a D8. So, 28. So, so uh, again, just for everyone at home, explain how sleep works. So, 28 is the number of hit points worth of creatures that AKA are affected. AKA number of levels mm -hmm. in creatures. Uh, so, they are affected in from lowest hit points to highest. And when that 28 runs out, it doesn't affect anybody else. All right. Um, well, you watch as the assembly line falls asleep. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that... Yeah, the assembly line has fallen asleep, but the guys behind the crates with their guns, they are still at the ready. All right, well, good. I'll, I'll go over at Eloy, guy. and I go, you are great. <laughs> I, right? I just made up this special song that makes people real sleepy. That's amazing, uh, Eloy. <laughs> uh, they you do, and I are going to be good friends. <laughs> for housekeeping purposes, uh, they wake up uh, in one minute when they take damage, or if an ally spends a turn slapping him awake. Alrighty. Well, now it is time for Boy with Crowbar. Boy with Crowbar, he's still adamant about getting into that crate. <laughs> hmm. But he's not doing too good with all the boat rocking, and now with this noise that made half his assembly line crew workers just hit the floor... He's like, what the fuck? Ah, shit! He fucks up uh, trying to pull the uh, crowbar out. Tries again for one more time. This time he does. He gets a good chunk of the crate he's working at well off, but he cannot get inside to reach it. That was his turn. He is very adamant about getting into this crate. All right. And now we move on to other fellow with gun in the corner there. Ah, uh, the other one. The, uh, the, uh, this. Yep, that, no, is no. Is that the other corner opposite? Oh, uh, no, 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 not that one. The one, uh, that's. In the far tucked in the corner at the tail oh, end. Oh, oh, this guy. Yeah, that gotcha. guy right there. So the one that, the crate that is in front of Scrung, that's the guy who's hitting it with the crowbar. Okay. Okay, so now he notices, uh, he was the one who took a shot at Scrung before, and he can't see anyone because there's too many people in front of him, so he's going to try again anyway and just aim blindly to try and, like, at least bust through this crate to hit someone. And unfortunately, that means that you're in the way, too, and so is Scrung. And you as well. You're all in is this cone. Is he using cone. a blunderbuss, or he's, is he using... He's using a blunderbuss. Okay. He's got that, does not count, that does not count as a missile. No. So. I'm just gonna blow this up. Oh, jeez. What do you get, Zito? <laughs> does a 25 hit? A 25? Yes. I would think. Now, I've got an armor class 15, so I'm going to say yes. <laughs> yes, it does. And that hits Scrung, too, so everyone's taking a shot from this. Shrapnel hits everywhere as molten metal and fire is blown from the blunderbuss and hits everyone. Me included? No, not you. Okay. You are the only one who's been spared out of yeah! this. Man, cones <laughs> with a roll to hit. That's crazy. All right. I'm going to roll real quick. Four, three. That's seven points of damage on everyone. All right. Jeez. Thank God I built Tanky. And he now spends the rest of his action to reload. All right. Now, is, that's not the guy next to me, right? No. The guy next to me is the one that blew his friend's head off. Yes. Okay. Uh, so the these two dudes, like, right here, like, in front of the small crate and heading out the exit, they're asleep. They're asleep. Okay, those two are asleep. Yep. All right. Uh, I believe it's Skrung's are, turn. Uh, yes, it is Skrung's turn. Skrung is just like, fuck! Just like... Holds his ear, like, not even the pain is what's bothering him. It's the ringing of his gar gargantuan fucking ears. Just like, ah, you shithead! Pulls out his pistol, turns the side, and fires. Nat 20. Well, that's gonna hit. <laughs> he hits the guy that's, he can see a line of sight on. Like, can you move him over one? Just to the, to the edge of the crate? Yeah, like right there. He no sees problem. the guy who still has the gun. He peeks out through the side and just... Yeah, peeks out through the side and takes a shot. Hits that guy square in it's the... It's high noon. ...fucking face. So let's see what, how much damage he just did on this boy. That pistol packs some heat because that was 10 points of damage he just hey. did. Like, you actually watched as the bullet he shot looked different. <laughs> there is something about that bullet. It just glowed and whoosh. Yeah, no, you watched as he, he charged his gun up and you just heard a whir. <laughs> An X buster. <laughs> and it fucking takes like a side of his skull off. Well, that's 10 points of damage, all right. It's pretty <laughs> nice. 
is it dead? No, it's still alive. Oh. Uh, it's just in a real bad way. Yeah, no, but you heard, like, all of you heard this mechanical whir. Like, that's not a normal flintlock. Gotcha. All right, back up the list. All right, uh, the dude that blew his head off with the uh, blunderbuss Was the one is... who just took a hit from Skrung. I thought he was over here. That's him, yeah. Okay, so who's this dude? This that's is... the guy with the crowbar. Oh, that, okay, I see. Let's see. So, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and just help finish off Skrung's dude. I'm going to smack him with the quarterstaff real quick. Uh, that is a, f uh, yeah, that's not, that's not doing it. <laughs> that's not a. That's a natural one. Yeah, that's uh that's bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna take Came a swing. And swinging. And poof. Okay, I have to roll something now. Oh good. <laughs> Hold on. That's a uh, jammed your stat. Bad dice. Rolling percentiles. Ha oh, boy. First nat one for a player. Yay. Ninety nine. Oh. Is that a good Hi higher is better, right? Higher is bad. <laughs> oh. Higher is worse. Great. Right. I just cracked my staff on something or I'm oh, losing boy. it or something. Hmm. Well, let me know what happens. <laughs> I'm certainly not getting my bonus action. How will your character work if he's only got one leg? <laughs> okay, as long as he's in water. <laughs> oh, no. He's opening books. Books are never a good sign. No. All right. That's weird. You just woke up the Kraken. <laughs> You managed to hit the idol inside and unleash the hidden yeah. evil. Somehow you sank the rest It could of have been ship. worse, guys. It could have been a hundred. <laughs> that is the only way it could have been worse. You're not wrong. The sea dragon awakens and decides he doesn't feel like orc or goblin today. Hi, Zito. May I mention that you look quite handsome today? Thank you. <laughs> Wake lifts his hand up to go with the spear. The spear, I, I apologize. But he kind of like arcs it in a way that it flies out going backwards. <laughs> oh, my hands were slippery. Uh, it doesn't hit Eloy. Uh -oh. Hooray! It doesn't hit Skrung, and it doesn't hit Ezra. Oh, okay, good. Everything's fine. But it does crack into the wall behind you and lets in water. <laughs> so you did pre Oddly enough, I'm okay with this. <laughs> no, no, now everyone must roll a con saving throw or be knocked down. Okay, oh, but that's I a lot of water that this little spear's fucking us with. You just yep. fucking bamboozled everything. The water just came out here in a gush. I just wrecked this room. Oh, well, great. I got a three. <laughs> uh, you said constitution, right? Yes. Yeah, that's... uh. 15 with my bonus, I think. Oh, wait, yeah. 14. Five with my bonus. 14, 15, how much? Five. Oops. <laughs> you knock so, okay, so... Yeah, uh, into the mic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, yeah, you just... Describe what happens. I will animate. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys are fine. Like, you just feel like water hits you back and you, like, kind of, like, stand your ground. Also, I got a roll for Skrung. Oh, he's not any fit better than you. Yay! Skrung! So, you and Skrung, oh, since, since you're right next to the barrels, or the... Crates. The, you're right next to the crates, both of you kind of slam your faces <laughs> forward into it. Neither of them saw it coming, so it's just like... Whoosh, poof, yeah. <laughs> you both hit the floor. I'm going to roll damage. You are knocked prone for this round. Oh, great! Good to know my mistake doesn't hurt me. <laughs> but you don't. But you don't know where your your spear is now. I will deal with that <laughs> later. <laughs> Take six points of damage, and you are knocked prone. So is Skrung. Now this water that's coming in. Am I like, how high up is it on me? About uh. About waist high. All right, that's gonna make things a little awkward eventually. Um, <laughs> if it's if it's a that high, it's getting out. After. However, however, I do want uh, you did kind of notice that when it hit the wall and made the hole, it wasn't really that bad. But then you watched, you felt like you heard the the outside as a wave came in. So this is like every wave. So oh no. <laughs> 
So it's high enough that it's not just letting all the water in, but it's but waves getting are, hit by waves yeah. and that's shooting stuff in. So what, this this is not rising water, but this is just water that gushes in because the the tide is so turbulent that it's coming in. Okay. Uh, now I'm not going to do the bullshit thing I did in order to uh, keep my spear with me right now. I'm a little focused on the uh, issue I just created. Can I still make my bonus attack? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure. Yeah, go with my bonus attack. I'm like, whoop! Whoop! Yeah. Throw my fist instead of the spear. That's slightly better. 14? That misses. That misses. <laughs> Grant? I'm prone, I guess. You, wait, you, could, you could spend a move action to stand up. Okay. I guess I do that. <laughs> At least I made everything awkward for our opponents as well, technically. <laughs> no, the water never reached them. Oh, good. Well, I was going to say the water could have woke them up if it got over there, so that might have been bad. <laughs> so, yeah, what All do right, you do so now? I'm, I'm, so I'm so now as you're holding up. your face, like your, your nose smashed two inches to the left. Thanks as for that! <laughs> uh, am I able to shoot my crossbow Yes. Again? Okay. Um, I'm gonna you got take... two boys on the ground and the boy with a crowbar. Yeah, I'm going to take aim at the crowbar boy. Am I able to do that from my vantage point? Yes, you are. All right. Take a shot. Uh, 17. That will hit. Yay! Uh, and I get to do 1d8 of damage. Would this be considered a sneak attack? Oh, no, it's ranged. Ranges it's ranged. are not sneak attacks. Eight! Eight points of damage. Max damage. You you watch as he goes to lift his arm up to hit the crowbar, and the fucking arrow goes right through the palm of his hand. Nice! Whoa! <laughs> Good to know I'm not the only one having problems today. <laughs> All right, uh... These boys are asleep. That boy's asleep. And now it's time for Blunderbuss Boy. Blunderbuss Boy. Oh wait, no, no, he's at he's actually before Scrung, so it's Crowbar Boy. <laughs> My hand. Ah! He looks at you with rage. He's just like he picks up a hatchet. And he flings it at you. Okay. Is that with his off hand or his on hand? <laughs> no, with his bleeding hand. Ah, okay. So he just did a fucking uh, a, a, a disadvantage throw on himself. He's so mad. So I want you to roll me a uh, deck saving throw. Uh, 24. Misses completely. <laughs> you watch as Wait! you watch as it goes past you, but then you notice it hits the side of the wall again. Oh God! Nothing happens. Oh, thank goodness. It just gets lodged into the wall, so there's an axe now, like a couple of feet behind you. Your turn. Uh, so the the blunderbuss guy. Can I see if he managed to keep his blunderbuss above the water level, or did it get wet? The water never reached him. Okay, right. so it's. The water's all on our side. That's not great. Um, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm not liking what that blunderbuss yeah, did Yeah, blunderbuss boy has a chunk of his head missing. Remember that. Yeah, that's true. Um, I guess I'll just... Uh, I guess I'll just viciously mock him. <laughs> oh, please, tell me. What is this mockery of? <laughs> so that's my cantrip, which means I can cast it at will. It doesn't take up spell slots. Uh, if the target can hear you, they must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or take 1d4 psychic damage and have disadvantage on the next attack roll. Hey, hey there, boy! You, you using that big old fire stick? You're a, you're a little pansy man. Doesn't, don't use your hands to fight like a real man. I hate you! <laughs> He failed his wisdom saving throw because their wisdom is garbage. <laughs> All right, so he takes... He just couldn't take it from the donkey man. He feels real bad about himself <laughs> like, right now. Oh, the ass is making an ass of me! What do you need, a d4? Oh! A d4, yeah. Thanks. A one. Uh, yes, a one for damage. And Oops, oh. sorry. And he has disadvantage on his next attack roll. All right. Uh, the other boy's asleep. And now it is... Boy behind, boy all the way in the back of the corner there. Pistol dude? Pistol dude, yep. Pistol dude will take a shot at you, because he heard your voice. Oh no. 
I didn't say nothing bad about you. What is your AC? 15. I'm up to 19. Oh, that's going to hit then. That's going to hit. Oh. That so, going to hurt. That gonna, that's going to hurt for two points of damage. That could have been worse. Because his pistol is fucking wet. That was his last shot he could take on you. Ha <laughs> ha. He goes... He, uh, because of all the... what? <coughs> excuse me. Because of all the water coming in, it actually splashed over the crate and kind of landed on top of him. Ah! Yep, so he's just like, yeah! Psh, psh. Damn it! Stupid gun. Stupid gun. Oh, well, I'll have to resort to hammering instead. He's just like, he reaches over and grabs a hammer and he's ready to go. Like a carpenter's hammer? Like No, a war hammer. Boy? Okay. No, he's got a straight up war hammer. Okay, so he's not just going old boy on us. He's <laughs> No, he's, he's ready to go. Okay. And now it's finally uh, crowbar boy and now blunderbuss boy. Blunderbuss boy had to spend one turn to reload, so now he takes aim. Unfortunately, that means you guys as well are all in there. <laughs> all right. He does have disadvantage, though, he because because of actions that I took, because I'm the best. He has disadvantage. He rolled a one. Hooray! That's the most disadvantageous. <laughs> it explodes in his hand and takes his upper torso with him. Well, good. He's gone. <laughs> I was going to say, I was sensing an Elmer Fudd-esque looks <laughs> down the barrel. It gets blasted. <laughs> <laughs> Why yep. won't it go off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he uh, he didn't have that much HP left to begin with, so whatever damage he would have rolled would have just there. instantly killed him. All right, goodbye, guy. Oh, now I'm glad that I shot at Crowbar Guy instead of him, because I forgot he was a factor. <laughs> now it's Skrung's turn. Asshole! <laughs> <laughs> Takes out his pistol, stands up. God damn it. Shoots at, uh, shoots at that boy. Yep. Yeah, the one with the with the pistol. Yeah, the one with the pistol. Pistol boy takes a shot at him. That's a miss. All right. <laughs> and we're back up the list. All right. Uh, I'm going to do my damnedest to finish off crowbar dude here, who just lost his hatchet and his crowbar, and he's just. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and punch. That is a 19, or 21. That will hit. Okay. Uh, damage on that is a plus. That's a six. And nat 20. That will do it. I imagine. What's the rule on crits when we roll them? Is this like double damage or what? Double damn. Double damn. Let's go. Hot double damn. And I rolled a one, so that's a two. two. Well, <laughs> plus... Uh, that's three, six damage. Yes. Okay. So total, I did fourteen. He's dead. Okay, I broke him. Yeah, you <laughs> you you fed him his own arm. Ugh. You pretty much just went like this. <laughs> <laughs> you you yeah you you grab his arm that he was holding up as he was ready to throw the hatchet. You grab it, pull it back, and then punch him in his own face with his with the arrow. So the arrow is sticking out here, so you went like this. Okay, so I shoved so I shoved the arrow <laughs> hand like under his chin into his skull. Yep. You you see as he futilely tries to pull it out, but then just topples as over. As he's trying to pull it out, I finish it off with just like a whoosh, just shoving the arrow further in there. Yep. Mm, tasty. And his eyes roll back into his skull, and he falls over, and I You feel hear a cool. gurgling in his throat All as right. the blood well, is... Well, he's dead. <laughs> Fuck it. Dead. Bubbling Grant, with Grant, the you're up. last gasps of you got, uh, breath from You his... got two boys there sleeping. And, sleepy uh, boys. Two, and then... sli two sleepy boys, which are right here. there. And you, and you, you got Warhammer dude. You got Warhammer dude, but he's not he is, uh, He's not in your line of sight. Not in my line of sight. All right. I don't know. Because I can't do much damage with my daggers. Uh, I guess I'll shoot. Um, Who are you shooting? Because the, the, that guy right next the two, to you, Lenny, he's dead. The two oh, yeah, he's dead. I, I just left him on there because that's a lootable corpse. Mm. Uh, can I take aim at one of the sleepy guys? Or I mean, you can. You'll wake him up, though. That's true. Is there... Well, we can push him out of the boat and I let mean, him drown. I mean, that's also true. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that once I get myself up uh, close, people can start attacking me, and I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> um... 
Hmm. Well, well, in order to get to you, this guy would have to run through my field of attack. So he'd get like he'd he would have he, to run past. He me. would invoke attack of opportunity. Yeah. So if he's trying to get to you, like if you just want to put yourself in a more advantageous position, yeah, it puts him at a disadvantage to not attack to, me. To try and okay. <laughs> so yeah, can I run over to that sleeping guy and just kick him out there? Is that a thing I can do? You want to kick him out? Uh, you'd have to be in Lanny's spot and on oh, top okay. of the guy. So, so I'd have to unfortunately, go, like, no, because that that thing in front of him, in front of the sleepy guy, that's not closest to the hole. That's a crate. Okay. What you could do, and this is pure knowledge, you can just mm -hmm. like stand here at the ready and hold action for if this guy comes around the corner. Like if he pops out, basically you're on standby. I'm, go I'm going oh. to allow meta just for like a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Well, he's yeah. new. He's brand new. So, yes, but yeah. like going forward, that this is this is meta gaming. Right. Yeah. And, and and I I don't normally want to do that. I just wanted to like yeah. yes, get, no, show no. him his options. Yes. No, that is fair because Informing he's brand new. Me of my options. Yes. Because uh, <laughs> part of me really wants to go over and start talking to Scrong and be like, all right, buddy, this this situation seems like it's gonna get ready to play itself <laughs> then do it. out. All right, then yeah. <laughs> I'm booking it to Scrung, basically making sure that he is not going to go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, you're blocking his exit. <laughs> Scrung is like no. Scrung is too focused on making oh, I know. sure he I'm, gets rid I'm, of the orcs. I'm going to let him do his thing, what he's up to, but I am just positioning myself to better see him and make sure he doesn't have a, a way to see. He looks over at you like, do you have a plan? He doesn't give a shit, and he goes back over, like, reloading his gun. <laughs> I do, I, it also makes sense you're doing that. You've taken more damage than you probably have ever taken in your life. Yeah, so I'm just backing away for a second. Be like, okay, this is. I gotta, I gotta take a breather. This is crazy. <laughs> is I got I, slapped in the face by the captain, <laughs> then hit by a bunch of water. Today's not my night. Are you? Uh, oh, are you not one of the people that got shot? I did not get shot. Okay, you've not been shot. You're just having a but rough I, day. But I have been slammed into a crate and slapped in the face, <laughs> and that's not fun for me. That's your turn. Um. I'm gonna roll perception real quick. I just want to see if there's anything, like, on the ceiling or in the like around that I can shoot at to basically cause a distraction or roll trap perception. of some sort. Seven, uh, eleven. You notice there's a rowboat hanging up on the ceiling in the rafters. Hmm. Like where? Like what is it? Like it's hanging like, over. No, it's like, like. Hanging over them, o over them. On rope. You say? <laughs> on rope. Okay. Yep. It sure is there. <laughs> <laughs> I do nothing for now, <laughs> but I log that knowledge away. This guy is still asleep. <laughs> Your turn. All right. So the only guy still awake and alive is the guy with the uh, war warhammer. Yeah? Yes. Hey, dummy, that guy had a had a big fire stick, and he couldn't take us. I don't think you can take us with your dumb hammer. Vicious mockery. <laughs> That's a failure on him. All right. Roll so your damage. Just roll it for you, or do you? Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll All it. Right. That's fine. Four. That's a four. Oof. So four psychic damage and disadvantage on next attack. You watch as his nose starts bleeding as he's so <laughs> mad. <laughs> uh, his turn. Uh, he's anger. He let, like, you could go ahead and roll attack of opportunity because he runs out trying to get you. <laughs> roll attack of opportunity. All right, let's do it. Nat 20. Hit him. I would hope so. Do your damage. Motherfucker, six damage. <laughs> yeah, like, you see him, like, kind of limbo his way forward, but then lurches back, back up. <laughs> What is your AC? 15. He misses completely. That, you hit him, you hit him in the elbow in the eye, so he kind of like... I elbowed him in the eye. You elbowed him in the eye, so he kind of like was like, oh, he kind of like hits where he thinks you are, but it's like four <laughs> inches to the right of you. <laughs> oh. <sighs> yeah, now he's looking down, he's just like, wait, blood's not blue. Why did not go? <laughs> <laughs> Scrung's turn. More pistoling from the hip. No, he kind of just like walks underneath him because he kind of like lurched over like this, kind of like to try and hit. He just sticks the nuzzle in his mouth. <laughs> oh, pretty hard to miss <laughs> from this point. Four. Six points of damage. There goes the head. 
All just right. Waiting for well, one damage. Now That's we just fine. have two unconscious ones. And how many rounds of combat have they been asleep? Two? All right. Yeah, we've got the better part of a minute before they wake up. All right. So uh, the threat has passed. I have rope on me. All right. Uh, you have rope on you. Uh, I personally suggest that we tie one up to interrogate and maybe take with us or something like that and just kill the other one. I'm fine with that. These these are not. <laughs> All right, these I pull are out my nice knife man. and I go to just slice the throat of the one that's by the door. Go to Grom, hit him. All right. Uh, that is a. Well, I meant roll damage. Oh, roll damage. Uh, dagger is D. Four. D four. Plus Dex. That is a six. You take the knife right to his throat because he's not. He says he has absolutely no way of defending himself in this situation. Yeah, I just try to. Yeah, you 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 <laughs> take the time to make this a precise kill, and you just slice his throat, and he bleeds out. <laughs> and, I, and I shove him out into the open sea. <laughs> <laughs> Sploosh. All right, roll tie. athletics. Oh, okay. And I say, okay, tie him up. Uh, seventeen. Yeah, you you easily just kick him right out. Sploosh. All right. I make my way over to the sleeping guy with the rope, but I do not let my gaze leave Scrung. Scrung walks over to, like, one of the bodies that he just kicked. He's like, yeah, tell him. Tell him now. What are you going to tell him now? Nothing because you're dead. And he starts kicking him. <laughs> so what's your connection to this? I say as he's going to do his rope check, I guess. Yep. And actually, it is just about 7 o'clock. Do you want to take another five, call out some bits, and we'll find out? You know what? That sounds good. We'll interrogate yes. Scrung after this. Hey -oh. You'll tie him up. We'll be right back. Thank you for joining us at the table. <gasps> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the table. Uh, I just slid an orc's throat and kicked him off a boat. And... I tied one up. Yeah, Grant just tied one up. And I made them feel real bad about themselves before they died. <laughs> yeah. That guy, had a, <laughs> that guy might have had a pretty cool war hammer. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody can loot him. Hmm. Are you going to worry about that? Well, I'm going back that way to grab my spear, so... Roll me a perception check. Well, it's tied to a rope. Is it now? Yeah, it's, uh, I, I use it for fishing. Right, right, right. I apologize. That's part of your deal. I'm yeah. sorry. I pull it back to me, and yeah. as I'm heading back that way to pick it up, I uh, check out this guy's... Uh... Alrighty, so I'll at least give you guys the rundown of what you find, so we'll make this a little bit quicker. Sure. Right. Okay, so actually, I do want you guys to quickly roll me a perception check anyway. Uh, that is a 20. 17. 13. Not nat 20, just 20 in general. Mm. Well, congrats, guys. You found two working cutlasses. Hey. Uh, ah, they work. Yes. Yes, you found two cutlasses, which will just be two-handed weapons. Okay. Uh, two two-handed cutlasses, uh, one pistol... One, one wet pistol right now because it's kind of like submerged in water. That seems like you'd ha you'd have more use for it than I, was I would. Gonna say. One oh. blunderbuss. That one. seems like you might be able to use that pretty well. I mean, considering you're not a combat class, it would give you something to like. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just tossed that blunderbuss to Eloy. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's wet. Good luck figuring out how to use it because you don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah, I'll I'll hang on to it and worry about it later. <laughs> and out of the pockets of all of these guys, you actually find a very very nice three hundred and twenty five gold. To split apart the party. All right, so that's uh, between 325. Wait, to give me something that can't wait. <laughs> can't be split evenly among three. <laughs> Whatever. He's, I'm assuming by his silence, Scrung isn't demanding a share. Scrung <laughs> has run over to check on where the crowbar boy was going at. He's trying to get inside the crate right now. Yeah, I was curious about that, too. He... Eloy uh, trots over and, and kind of, like, tries to peer in. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of shocked that he ended up helping in the fight, so I just kind of toss him the gold, the bag of gold. Thanks. I'll divide this. <laughs> <laughs> that, sh that, sh <laughs> that shocks me further, if you actually do. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I go over to Scrung. You know, I hate it when stereotypes are right. He just pays you no mind and goes back to opening up the cargo. 
Let's see what these fuckers were trying to screw me over with. Where's your redheaded friend? My redheaded friend? What are you talking about? The one you ran down here with, or the one that followed you down here. Someone followed me down here? I was only oh. making sure that I was getting to this. And what are we looking for? I don't know. I was told that they wanted to just make sure that this crate was going to be theirs and theirs alone. But, since I found, I found a couple of them wanting to get rid of me with a couple of gunshots, I think the deal's a little bit, a little bit broken. All right, well, whatever is in here I now have a vested interest in, considering it almost cost me my life. Um, real quick, I want to roll perception, see if I can hear any commotion up on deck. Like okay. If, if things are still going on up there. Roll with disadvantage, because you're kind of under the galley right now. Okay, how do I do that again? Uh, roll twice, take the lower result. Okay. Well, hey, we got a five. So, so. That's, that's not great. And another five. <laughs> <laughs> disadvantage cost you nothing. Yep. Yeah, no so, disadvantage. So, uh, yeah, so you, you, with you... Plus, I would have nine. With, with all the shit that's happening with the rushing water that's coming in from the side of the wall, you can't hear jack shit going upstairs. Right. Uh, so, Skrung is now taking the crowbar that fell out of the orc's hand and is starting to chip away at the uh, cargo. <sighs> I'm going to punch the box. Just use my kung fu strength. <laughs> all right. Oh, no. Roll strength. It happened. It happened. It happened. It's on me. My girlfriend gave me this for that exact fucking reason, and it still <laughs> happened! I got 2d20, Zito! <laughs> I caught it! It's fine! All right, that's a uh, 30. Or, er, 20. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm really strong! <laughs> Nat 30! <laughs> Nat 30, Zito! What about it? Nah, sorry. Strength. All right, let me just get my big boy dice, then. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, it's a 20. <laughs> okay. I, I, I hit it with a strength of 20. Yep, you break it open, and out flops a really ornate coffin. Well, all right, that's not quite where I thought this was going, but... That's, uh... Scrung wastes no time. Pulls out a pocket knife. <laughs> Desecrating Any, Anybody want to stop him? There's a captain and a lot of guards still who might want something to do with that. Oh, We're fuck him! We'll figure it out what's happening. We'll just say it was open in the scuttle. I, I'm, I, this, uh, I, I'm gonna tell you something, and it's the truth. I'm real bad at lying, and you'd know if I were lying when I said that, because I'm real bad at lying. If if they ask me what happened here, I'm, I'm gonna tell them the truth, because yeah, the but they also think you're a hick idiot, so they probably will believe me anyway. <laughs> Look, man, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to be straight with you. He goes in, pops it open. There is a corpse of a Goliath in here. It's embalmed. It doesn't look... It looks kind of fresh. This thing's been dead for probably a week or so. And it's got little notes attached to each part of its limb saying the... Like, notes uh, saying that this is good for containment. Great. We have a cadaver. <laughs> like, there are open slots. So, like, someone could just, like, a use... Drug mule oh, corpse? it is a... <laughs> Someone can, like, take a tool and pull it open. No, you. do you want to pull inside? That will be a medical check. I mean... Do you want do to... Do I like reaching inside of random cadavers? I think I'll leave that to Skrung. He seems to know what he's looking for. Skrung's not gonna... Skrung just looks at it, he's just like... Why a corpse? What the hell's... Containment? He's confused as you are. Okay, um... So anyone here who has a really good medical check wants to go poking around and see why this thing's got slits big enough that if you just went like this, you could see inside of it, plus by all means. Two. I got a plus three, and I have a dagger, so do I've you got have anything better? I've got a plus four and no interest in poking around in a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing in there that interests Eloy. <laughs> Well, I'm curious I'm as to watching. why we. I, I'm curious as to why we okay, all almost so died. Okay, so here, for let me it. let me just tell you this. We're gonna play Operation here for a little bit. Okay. There is a slice, going up the forehead, down the throat. Like these are where the stitches are. The, I'm no, guessing. not the stitches. This is like slices. Like these are like oh. clearly open like slices. Real quick before he starts cutting into this guy. I don't think uh, I need to cut in <laughs> if they're already open. Well, no, it would be nice to like it will help your to roll. open your window okay. a little bit. So. Um, did they know what the grand total of gold was that we had scrounged about? Like, it's a quick metagaming question. I know you <laughs> read it out loud, but do their characters know? No. No, I did not look. They, he right. just, he just I, throw, I throw each of them 50 gold for their health, <laughs> saying, hey, here you go. I've divided Roll insight it. to both of you. <laughs> Mine just hits the water and splashes into it because I'm not paying you any attention. I gave you that fucking gold. <laughs> Roll persuasion. I got a 12. I got a 19. That gold is yours. <laughs> here you go. 50 gold. Oh, boy, I'm so freaking rich today. You can take yours, too, Wake. Splash. Or you named your net self. Yeah, I haven't given any of you my name. <laughs> you can take yours, too, buddy. 
So, uh, let me let me reiterate. You got a slice going down the forehead, you got a slice going down the throat, a slice going down the both arms on the inside, uh, going down his chest, going down his stomach, and two going down the calves of his legs. Hmm. That's a lot of options. If I were to hide something of val like if I were to hide something large, I'd hide it in the abdomen. I'm thinking to myself. <laughs> If I were to hide something, I'm gonna go for the one in the f like near the forehead. All right, go for it. All right, Are medicine. You that is a god damn. This thing's hard to read. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, well, obviously, uh, you go to push your knife towards the front of the forehead, and it kind of presses in. There was a circle. Where, like, there's a circle in the skull that someone carved out already, so you could actually be able to, like, fold and unfold the skin. Gross. The inside, it is hollow. It is embalmed. It is clean. All right, so nothing in the head. Literally. Could I roll insight to maybe know, like, because I have uh, knowledge of, like, underground stuff, I feel underworld. like. Underworld. Yeah. Underworld stuff. Could I, so could do, I roll do, you feel, do you feel this is an underworld connection? This I, feels pretty underworldy. Yeah. All right. Uh, roll me a knowledge check plus knowledge two. Knowledge check plus two. Right. Hey, a seven. So probably not much. Not about this particular yeah. cadaver. Yeah. Seven. You have heard of people shifting like items and goods through dead bodies before, but. It's weird that they're like so far you found nothing inside. This is literally just a body with so, broken pe with pieces carved out for an exact purpose. But what that purpose is, you have no idea. So as he's rummaging through, I just kind of pipe up. This is probably used for smuggling. They're probably just sending goods through this, and we might have just caught it on. Scrung's a doing his uh, part. To which Scrung I basically say, really? Yeah, Scrung <laughs> Scrung's doing his part to see if he could find anything too. Trying to go, help, buddy. He's gonna go for the chest. Again, my name's Ezra. We almost died together today. <laughs> he finds nothing in the chest. All he's, right. he's pretty perplexed about this. I'm going to go for the right arm. Uh, that is 18. Nothing. Okay. Nothing in the right arm. Left arm. Nothing. Right you got, leg. You got All right, legs. 20. Nothing. <laughs> Other leg. Nothing. All that's left is the stomach. All right, stomach it is. Uh, 14. Jules! You look inside the stomach, and there looks to be what appears to be a tumor of some kind. Ugh. It is pulsating purple. It's, like, not, like, it pulsates, it pulsates once because it, like, it was exposed to light. Close. <laughs> what the hell was that noise? A very good question. Uh, the thing in his stomach does not like light, or it reacts to light, or he has something living in his stomach. Okay. What? Yeah. Yeah. Why do orcs want a tumor? It's a very good question. I figured you would might might be in the know on this one. No, I'm not. All I was told was make sure that I I cause some kind of distraction to make sure the ship is at least seafaring, but not going to Jahal. All right. I, I didn't know what the hell this was beyond that. Fair enough. I kicked the sleeping orc. It's <laughs> <laughs> tied up. Why do you guys want a tumor? You can't understand a word he's saying. Anybody speak orc? I speak elf and dwarven. Scrung looks left and right. I have no idea what the hell he's saying. Is he not <laughs> speaking words? No, he's speaking orcish because that's how they're, it, it's all grunts and, and groans, but okay. never heard of it. <laughs> I, I kind of shuffle him over towards the uh, opening. <laughs> better start speaking. Better start speaking English, boy. <laughs> Spits in your face. <sighs> I'm going to roll for myself to see if I can hold myself from dropping him in the ocean. <laughs> by the way, this hole I'm by, what's out there? 
The whole what? The hole we are by here. The hole we are by? Uh, yeah. Do you look outside? I mean, I kicked somebody out there before when uh, I was pushing that. That is ocean, feet. but it also looks like there was a hatch on the side of the ship that was made for that exact purpose, for people to just break right through. Ah. Hmm. Someone roll me a knowledge check. Well, I'm going to see if I can keep myself from murdering this guy. Oh, that's a low roll. He's in the ocean. 16. <laughs> 17, surprisingly enough. You remember that the hull of the ship that bust through almost kind of looked like a hatch. The, the When you first walked down, yep. that looked like a door that rises up. Guys, remember that thing, what we walked past, the, the part of the other ship that's in this ship, like the two ships loved each other like a mommy and daddy? Where's that cargo? I think there might be more peoples coming in. All right, I am going to uh, put this to like I'm going to grab that tumor and put it in a jar. You touch it? <laughs> yeah, I touch it. What am I rolling? Mm. <laughs> well, gee, and I was about to just suggest throwing it out into the ocean, being like, "Hey, Scrung, whoever's after this would probably piss him off if you threw this in the water." I have gloves, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Because while I'm out for roll treasure, me. I'm not exactly a high save. Roll me a will save. A will save? Okay, that's something I'm decent. That's wisdom, right? Yes. That's something I'm okay at. Uh, that is a 19. Yes, 19. <laughs> Quiet, you! <laughs> you rip it out of the body? Yes. <laughs> I shoved it in a jar. <laughs> Do you have a jar? Yeah. I got a jar. I bought a jar. <laughs> it's among my things. All right, you put it in the jar. All right, I sealed that you, jar. <laughs> yeah, you now have a chunk of orc fle uh, of Goliath flesh and the little tumor. Some living okay. tumor. Okay, living tumor. Oh, no, it's not living. <laughs> it's okay, I killed it when I ripped it out of the body? Yep. All right, I have a tumor in a... Jar, was that will save to keep from like throwing up or what? Mm, I'm not telling you. Okay, that's a secret. Not. That is a trade secret. That is a secret. My assumption. Well, never mind. All right, I'm gonna stash that I'm back in my bag. This. You now have a tumor in a jar. I have a tumor. I, I look at. I look at him a little sideways. You know, we all have our things, friend. <laughs> Scrung kind of just like is now flush up against the crate, just like. Oh, I don't like that voice. The fuck is today? Oh, I don't know. I do not like that voice. How big is, like, this uh, this hole that we're standing by, how big is it? Is it big enough to fit a person or how? People can fit through, yes. How many people side to side? Just one. Okay. So got a rowboat above us, and that would be a neat little I getaway. I was going to say they <laughs> trying to move one of those crates in front of the, the hole that they've made, but... Uh, so do you go, what are you guys going to do? Because, like, there is now clearly a person... Inside the way. other room, on like looking around. I, so is the is that hatch big enough to put the uh, rowboat through? Probably not. No. Okay. <laughs> the rowboat is typically idea. like two or three people side by yeah. side. Yep. How the fuck did they get it in here? <laughs> they built the ship around it. No, they didn't. It's mine. <laughs> 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 is there another like? opening in this room that you w could conceivably load shit through um there's a grate above you ah that'd do it it was lowered in ah okay that means there's a way out up all right i am going to uh climb the rowboat and see if i can get that grate open uh the only way you could do that is getting on top of one of the crates well i am going to do that first then all righty that's athletics or uh, depending on which you want to do, are you going to climb or are you going to jump up? You know what? I'm going to Jackie Chan it and just bounce from side to side, like, on the boxes and climb <laughs> Acrobatics. up. Acrobatics. Ha-ha! That's what I'm better at. For, uh, for my... 24. You are now standing on top of the crate. All right. I'm going to climb on the... Sh I'm going to climb on the uh, rowboat from there, I'm guessing. Go for it. For my All benefit, right. just because I'm not sure I quite understood, uh, the voices we're hearing, are they coming from, like, in yes. here? Yes. They're coming from in there. Okay. Yeah, they're coming from that room where the lady shackled. Okay. All right, uh, can I reach the grate from where I am on the rowboat? You have to roll to get on the rowboat. Oh, well, fine. I'm going to finish the best right now. That would be 21. Yes. All right. You uh, can, can I reach the grate? Uh, standing on your tippy toes, you could just make it. 
Well, that's not going to be very easy to open. <laughs> However, this is a great place to hide. <laughs> well, I, you two? I'm going to stealthily poke my head out that doorway. Roll stealth. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> uh, eight. You see a very large, well-dressed orc peer his head to the side, almost towards you, but you duck out of the way just in time. Yep. He is, he is surrounded by two other goons. Hey, we got at least three guys However, out there. One of them's real you, big. You did notice that there was a blotch of red as you quickly, sharply turned around. Over by where the uh, person, where uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, the personal rooms were. So okay. she was kind of just hiding because there we're too. on a timer. I am going to say what like has been going through my character's head as I know I can't reach this grate. I've taken the length of rope off of my spear and I am tying it around one of the benches on the rowboat and I'm lowering it down to them, so you they can climb up here. No, it's grated. You have to like no, no onto the. I'm <gasps> oh, tying yeah, a rope yeah. to the rowboat so they can get up to to me. make it oh, easier okay. for us to yes. join them. Okay, uh, what do you guys do then? Yeah, I'll try and yeah, climb up uh, there and join them. Roll athletics quickly. Yeah, I was going to say him first, then we can try to help lift you up. Yeah, because, uh, 19. Uh, 16, 18. You both effortlessly make it back up onto the rowboat. Woo! Yeah. So now all three of you are hiding on the rowboat. An all right. Roll, an, roll a over. stealth with uh, advantage. All right. I, I, all I also you. offer this to Scrung. I... Yeah, Scrung will try as well. Scrung makes it up there just fine. With advantage, that's an at 20. 16. 12. Okay. Well, you guys hide. You don't hear noise until you finally hear... There's one! Kill the witch! And then you hear an explosion. <laughs> and then more explosions. Great. There's a fight going on in the next room. Okay. I'm going to try to stand on you to see if I, like, since there's nothing going on here, I'm going to see if I can get that grate open on top of us. Yeah, sure. I'll boost you up. If Athletics. Just for holding me, I guess. Yes. For me? I mean, I can... He can be mounted That's on That's true. Me. He can be mounted. That's, I'll yeah. let that slide. You are absolutely right. <laughs> the special right. mounting. That's right. You heard it here first. I can mount Ben. Um, <laughs> no, I made sure I to look mount this Eloy. up. Eloy. <laughs> yeah. E watch. Eloy can carry another medium-sized creature. <laughs> All right. I'm going to see if I can, like... Jimmy it or push it or something. Uh, by feeling it alone, you can feel that the grate can be slid. Okay, well, I'm going to slide it. All right. Uh, let's see. Let me just double check something real quick, if you don't mind. Go right ahead. Roll me athletics. Athletics. Okie dokie. It's a real heavy grate. Uh, that is a athletics. Da -da 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 -da. 13, 15. You try to grab onto, uh, you try to grab onto the grate, yeah. but your hands slip through a little bit because of all the water that's going on up there. And also you feel someone's shoe crunch down on your finger. Uh, do I roll anything to not make a noise? You don't have to. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you can't get a good grasp on this, even with Eloy's help. All right. Well, uh, I slink back down there. Ow. Uh... We had two options. Help out whatever's going on out there or stay hiding here and eventually go down with the ship. Well, I don't like the idea of going down with the ship. We do have that hole that fits one person through, and we've got crowbars and war hammers. Can we open Say that no hole more, a little Say no more, Scrunk bit? says, trying to shimmy down. <laughs> <laughs> that hole that fits one person. That hole that fits one person. Can we open that it That leads more with into the ocean. <laughs> with a boat hanging over us. Ah. The boat can't make it through, though. Well, that's what I'm saying. Can we open up it's, that it's gap a, hatch. a little bit? Oh. Mm. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, we would have to do significant damage <laughs> to the exterior of this boat to fit this thing through that way. <laughs> that's basically my thought. Can we blow a hole in this boat? I don't know. Away? Is there anything explosive in here? A bunch of blunderbusses, apparently. But they're all wet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and everything on that half of the ship is probably wet, thanks to my staff. Which is really doing good work. Like, it can fuck up a ship, apparently. <laughs> All right, well, you're still talking about this. There's still fighting going on on the other side. All right, well, I'm going to go kill more pirates. I'm going to slide down the rope. Well, I'm going to... Uh... You can just jump down. It's fine. Yeah. Somebody pass me my rope. <laughs> I pass him his rope. Ha-ha! <laughs> All right. 
So you're I, gonna head inside. Move, move accordingly. All right, I'm going to move over here and just take a glimpse into what I see over here. I just want to get a visual of what I'm dealing with. Roll stealth. I mean, okay, it seems like they're preoccupied, but... Roll stealth. Got it. Uh, that's a dex check, correct? Yes. Then that's a 18, or 20. Sorry, I forget my cat's grace. Yep. You are clearly visible to some of them. Well, Whoa. She screw them, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> this is why I continue to hang out in my little rowboat fort. <laughs> okay, so we got some... Big ol' orky doos. All right, uh, paint the picture for me. What do we see? Paint the picture. You see a very large, like, eight-foot-tall, really broad shoulders, like, ready to fuck shit everyone's day orc in okay. a captain's outfit, like, just sitting there with a giant mace, like, Hoisted down like the head is on the floor. He's watching this as this is happening. He's letting his two orc goons just take care There's the red-headed lady. She's holding her hand up and holding a fireball in it. She is a magic caster cool And meanwhile, there's granny yep. <laughs> Gra watch. Granny's hidden in that little box right there. You see that in front of you that yeah, uh, that, just, she's, that's, she, that's, that, that's the like the concessions. That's the concession stand. She's just sitting there Yep, this is happening. <laughs> and the orcs that are focused on the mage see me. Uh, the big, big old captain saw you. Uh, he's like, turns aside. He just turns his head. Ah, there's the cargo. <laughs> he looks at you and sees the cargo. No, he go. He looks over to you. He goes, Ah, so there was the cargo. This whole that's time. what happened. Mm-hmm. Okay, boys, roll initiative. Ha, <sighs> boy, us two. Yep. They don't know you're there, yeah. but they know he's there. Let's see, plus three plus four plus two. Uh, do I take Cat's Grace with the initiative roll too? Uh, you had your. Mm, I'm oh, gonna yeah, say so yes. Six. Okay, not? so that I'm would be. I'm gonna let you have that. Okay, that'd be 19. And I was six. Forgot to add my initiative roll. Uh, I had a 22. I rolled real good. You get to go first, actually. Ooh. You get to climb down out of that rowboat if you <laughs> so choose. Or just start talking from the boat. Ooh, I'm a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see me. I'm a ghost. All right. Uh... Now, is this XCOM rules? Do I have better damage because I'm higher up when I shoot? No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I am in a swaying rowboat on the ceiling. That would probably hinder my aim way more than help it. And, oh, God. Sorry I'm taking so long. I'm just writing down the initiative list. Oh, no worries. You're good. All right. So, Ben, you get to go first. All right. How much of my action is it going to take me to clamber back down out of this rowboat? You could just jump right on down. It's only like 10 feet off the ground. Okay. Then, uh... Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> there is no good way out of this situation. I just hear him, I just hear him clop, clop. Oh, clop, clop. <laughs> <laughs> wanted uh, to go on a fun adventure. I wanted to go sailing. Man, you're on an adventure. <laughs> this is adventure. <laughs> uh... Okay, I'm gonna clop down and go and uh, join join Wake and the uh, the the person that I out of character know is Wake. Okay, uh, <laughs> you want to be behind him or in front of him? Uh, behind him, but I would like. All right, move him, please. The, ni the nice shady man. Yep. Yeah, move. Just move him right behind. There you go. Hello. All right. I I did not want to do this. People get real mad when I do this. I cast a uh, suggestion on the boss orc. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Does this require visual? Uh, because if it does, I'm not going to allow it because you are standing behind Wake. Uh, it does not say. I do need to be. Am I within thirty feet of him? That is the range. Uh, count the count. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25. Just no. no. Just out of range. Just is, out of oh, wait, range. hold on. Is this boss dude? Yes. 
then you're either just barely in or just barely out of range. I'm going to say out because you're standing behind someone too. Okay. Well, then I'm going to suck it up and, and be in front of Wake then because okay. this oh. is this is the best solution that I can think of to this quandary. Clop, I, do, clop. I don't want to fight these guys. Hi there. Uh, we're, we have nothing to do with this. We are just innocent passers-by. And if you could just uh, help us off of this sinking boat, boy, I'd really appreciate it. I'm just sitting there like, oh, my poor naive friend. <laughs> No, this is going to be great. Roll. <laughs> okay, so or he... Expl roll. Or explain a roll. Okay, so he gets a wisdom saving throw. On a failure, he follows my suggestion to the best of his ability for as long as I can keep concentration up to eight hours. Oh. No soap. He just looks at you, grimaces, and licks the, <laughs> and licks the mace. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Uh, Fresh meat! I haven't had venison in eons! Oh, okay, you are you are thinking of... Oh, God, I forget the word for it. You're thinking of the deer centaur? All right, I'm a donkey man. <laughs> Lenny, you're up. I wasn't up from this boat. I do have a... All right, I realize that I... My, my friend is... I, I don't know that he's casting magic. I just think he's being, like, <laughs> just trying really to naive. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, Please don't do on. this. I, 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 do, I dart in front of him. Um... Kind of like strike a strike a pose. Yeah, strike you, got, a pose. you got your weapon with you. Yeah, I got my weapon with me. Uh, so let's see. There's Captain Man. In order to get to either of those other two orcs, I'd have to get through Captain Man anyway. And he'd get an attack of opportunity on. Yeah. You. So he's the only real one that I can. I pull the jar out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Were you looking for this? What in blazes is that? It looks like snot in a jar. Hmm. Fair enough. I throw it at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Roll, roll dexterity. Yeah. 27? Well, it hits him. Roll 1d4 damage, please. This is for the jar, I'm guessing. Uh, that is a two. Okay, well, he takes two <laughs> points of damage. Oh, all right, he rolls a nat 20. He, nothing happens to him. But he's just covered in... No, no, he, he's not even covered in anything. The kind of, like, the tumor kind of just, like, flops over on the floor. Oh, no, it doesn't even touch his skin. Like, it, the, the jaw, it was so... Oh, the lid of the jar, like, plink. Yeah, it was a fi the tumor was so affixated to the jar that it goes with the glass. It doesn't touch him. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs at you. So I found that on a corpse in there. <laughs> That's about as long as you're going to get talking to this man. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping that'd be funnier. <laughs> Scrung, Scrung, Scrung's turn. Well, no time like the present. Uh, move him right next to Eloy on the left. Yep. He kind of like uses you as like chest high cover. <laughs> he uses you to hold his gun ready and he takes aim at the captain. He's distracted, so that's a plus. Yep. Uh, <laughs> he actually hits. You hear, you feel your your spine or your 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 centaur spine like start to like churn as you feel the power of this thing like <laughs> rupture inside the gun as a bullet is sent flying at him. Yes. Um. Fuck me in the alley. He did twelve points of damage. Damn. <laughs> That is so while he's laughing about the jar that broke off him, <laughs> <laughs> fuck me! Yeah, that's kind of what happened. He he's laughing about that jar so much that he just took a blow to the cheek from the gun. You watch as a good splatter of blood flies across the floor. Ow! Scrung! Oh hey, he knows you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, orc number two. He's uh, a little fixated on a uh, lady with the uh, lady cast in magic, so he goes to run up to her. You mind just a uh, guy closest to her? Yep. Yep, right in front of her. Takes his axe and swings down on her. This is going to suck. Yeah, that hits. For 
four points of damage. Four points of damage? Yep, for four points of damage, he kind of just, like, slices the side of her arm. You see blood splatter, but she is still, like, just... Charging that, her fireball. Yeah, she's still got that fireball in hand. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> she kind of just, like, gleams at him, like, grins, and then just goes, oh, that was cute. And she still, like, holds her hand now like this. Uh, your, uh, wait. Beep, 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 beep. Yes, it is now. Did I write this right? I'm sorry. Uh,. I rolled pretty badly, so I should be pretty far down the list. Hmm. That's right, then I am... I did write this wrong. It's supposed to be you next. Yay. Sorry. Your turn. My turn? All right. Well, I hop down from the boat, deciding to be brave, I guess. <laughs> or more just wanting to survive. Oh, man. Uh, How many uh, spaces was that? Because that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five... five. You you can't move any further. I can't than move that. any further than that. Um, since I'm behind people, can I see anything from there? You could still try to take a hit, but you'll have to do. Uh, you could try to hit, but I'm mm. gonna ask that you have to take a disadvantage, disadvantage on it, and not shoot Eloy in the back of the head, <laughs> or me. <laughs> well, no, he's not gonna aim for you if he. Well, have they? Okay, depending can, on who. Could I for. stealth there to? Yes, okay. roll stealth. Ah, oh, damn it. Nine! <laughs> That's okay. Captain didn't roll any better. He doesn't notice you're there. Hey, great. He's pretty preoccupied with that hole that got blasted in his face. Yeah, I <laughs> just <laughs> quietly make my way closer to the action while not doing anything to really draw attention to myself quite All right, yet. so Orc Boy number one is sees that there's shit going on near the cargo holds. He's going to run up to, to Wake and try to take a swing at him. <laughs> what is your AC? 17. Just makes it with a 20. You guys, your guys are very strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's the axe that gave him that. It's, okay. the, it's the mace that gave him that. Uh, the, uh, okay, this guy's a mace? Gotcha. Yeah. That guy's got a mace. The other guy has a battle axe. And the captain has a mace. Yep. Okay. Uh, so he is going to roll to hit you. He's going to do his damage of a whole heaping one point of damage. Ow. He kind of hits you with the stick side of his of his mace. Uh, tink. Ow, fuck! Son of a bitch. All right. It is now Lady with a Fireball's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Gently caresses her hand on his face. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Snaps her finger. Natural 20. Jeez. Oh, Ooh. fucking damn. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, no, I believe you. you no reason to lie. <laughs> yeah. We need an eye in the sky cam for the chat to confirm look, his rules. Look, one fewer orc. Oh, my day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Where's my other percentile? There it is. Huh. 15 points of damage. You watch, you watch as now half his face is skeleton. <laughs> I'm assuming he's dead. No, he's not. <laughs> wow, he is a resilient bunt. He's you, a resilient you, sort. You, 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 you watch him pull back, back on these screaming in agony shockingly as survive. her hand is now like rupturing his skin to just and flesh just fall off. <laughs> flesh is crackling off and <laughs> yep, and he's just and it oh, hurts, but he's <laughs> alive. He's doing <laughs> he's doing his best to try and pull his face away, but he cannot. But boy, it's, does he somehow live. <laughs> it's real rough, but man, he's toughing it out. <laughs> Your turn. He's an orc that's been through a lot. I think that's Eloy. Yep. yep. All right. Okay, so we've got guy facing, guy who just got his face burned off. We've got captain who just got his face shot in. And we've got guy facing off against Lanny who has not been injured yet. Yeah, meanwhile, Tumor, like, as the ship is rock, is just... <laughs> Around the floor. No, Tumor's just laying on the floor. Ah. Right. Oh, he's dead. Tumor oh, is dead. Tumor's dead. I never had a chance to talk to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, woe is you. Yeah, woe is yourself. me. Become All right. one. I'm, I'm going to yell at the uh, <laughs> at the uninjured one who's squaring off against uh, <laughs> against Wake. Hey, buddy. Now, this is a re another real good trick that I learned. Hey, buddy. You want to hear a joke? And I'm, I, I'm just like, what the 
fuck is this guy? <laughs> and I pull out the the only book that <laughs> was in Eloy's tribe that he took with him as a parting gift. 101 Arful Pirate Jokes. And he reads out. And Chad, I just want you to understand this. Uh, <laughs> when I told everyone in this entire group, <laughs> the party members are to have one sentimental item of value for lore purposes, and this is what he picked. <laughs> What's the difference between a pirate present and a runaway pumpkin? One's a gift sword, and the other's a swift gourd. Tasha's hideous laughter. <laughs> what does that do? Uh, he gets a wisdom saving throw. If he fails, he falls prone. I will give you, adva <laughs> I will give you advantage for bringing in a prop. <laughs> Just this once. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's taking this. Okay, he falls prone, <laughs> and he's... Just on the floor, laughing for up to one minute. Uh, he gets a new saving throw uh, at the end of his turn or when taking damage. So you see him as he just, like, leans back to, like, get ready to hit you again. He's just... <laughs> just hits the floor. I'm sitting there... What is happening right now? Can I, roll, can no. I roll inside for this to be able to pick up that this is, in fact, Bardic Match? <laughs> you could use it on your turn, but nah, not right damn now. It. Fine. <laughs> no, you, this you've taken notice, though. I will say this. No, it's it's fine. It's you, you even look at red, like the girl in red, the red hair just looks at you and just goes, It's magic. <laughs> he's just just don't touch him. He's gonna be laughing All like right. that for a while. He's down for the count. He's fine. <laughs> now we're in the room where the ship is like crashing into it, right? Like this, yeah, it's right there. It's how it's much water is in hatch. this room? No, it's uh, it's not. It's it seems perfectly fine. The oh. hatch opened up and sealed the side so that the water couldn't enter in. This is a, a siege ship. Okay, so this is. Something that may have happened before. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Ship was built for such occasions. No, the ship was built to siege and to batter <laughs> ram into stuff. Okay. All right. Well. We are up to you. All right. So this guy in front of me is just on the ground laughing, laughing his ass off. He is prone right now, all things considered. <laughs> he loved my joke. I... <laughs> <laughs> I turn my attention back to the captain. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and skip this dude real quick. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fight him real, real good. Put, place it down. All right. Just to let you know, if he does get up, you are now considered flanked. That's fine. I'm assuming somebody else will help take care <laughs> of him in the no, meanwhile. That's fair because then if you turn around and face him, and someone was in front of him, that would also mean he's flanked. <laughs> yeah. So, All right. what do you want to do? Uh, as this guy's laughing, the captain's sitting there with like half a face on him. Yeah, I'm well, gonna... a good hole in his face, not half. Yeah, well, that's right. The other guy's got his half a face. All right, I am going to go ahead and just like go at him with the spear. Go for Maybe it. Maybe this time I'll. Yeah, that should be a little better. Uh, that's a twenty. That hits. Yeah. Okay. Twenty something. Any twenty something hits. Okay. That's good to know. Well, not the greatest stab in the world, but uh, yeah. Let's see. That's two. He holds his hand up, and you slice across the gauntlet. All right. Yeah, that's three damage I did to him, and I follow up with a unarmed attack. Uh, that's twenty-two. So I'm gonna guess that hits as well. That hits. This one does five damage. All right. You kind of like slide it across his gauntlet, but then slice down, and it takes part of his clothing and his skin with him. All right, and then I kick him in the ribs, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so how much? Wait, how much damage was that again? Uh, okay. That was uh, three plus. That's eight total. Okay, he's still standing. He he's looking pretty fine. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. He he seems pretty important. Uh, <laughs> if somebody's gonna get like their face melted off with like. <laughs> so however many damage that was, I think the, their boss will take a little more. All right, it is now his turn. The cap <clears throat> Captain's turn. Yeah, I'm here. Captain looks at you. Let us remember, he did just get shot in the face. <laughs> oh no, he's he's still going like this. When he when he went to stab him, that was him grabbing like while he was still grabbing onto his face. I maintain eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm looking at him. That bloody hood. I imagine. Roll me athletics. 
He goes athletics. For, he goes. Uh, at, yep. He goes for the grapple. Ooh. Something I have. Well, I don't have advantage on. That's something I want to build into, though. That's a uh, athletics plus four. Twenty-one. It matches. It hits. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> he grabs your face. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just roll that damage, and then he's gonna is, throw you onto the ground. Is his face still covered after all this? No, I got I I, I got face blood on me now. Yeah, no, now he, he's just like <laughs> eight points of damage. Eight points as I get thrown to the ground. Yep, you are now knocked prone and restrained. This is not going as I planned. (laughs) (laughs) Skrung's turn. He notices this. You're a good, uh... You're good. You're a good good aiming stool. (laughs) Takes another shot. That does not hit. It bounces right off his armor. Ding! Uh... Guy facing, uh, guy facing, guy with half a face now. <laughs> no, he's, I have to roll to see if he actually is like now afraid of this. After what just I would hope happened. he's That's a little That's pretty scared. horrifying. <laughs> yeah, he failed. He tries to run away from her, in which she pulls out a knife and stabs him <laughs> as he runs away. That doesn't hit. Oh. He's, he's too fat and lumbering that, <laughs> like, the knife like, sinks into the folds of his skin but doesn't break. <laughs> <laughs> now he's he's running towards the back to the boat. Ro- can you just uh, throw him 60 feet to run that way to get back to the boat? Yes, thank you. That's his turn. Grant, you're up. All right. I see the guy who's prone laughing at his great joke <laughs> uh, and taking advantage here. I have a sneak attack, which lets me add two d6s to my attack. Uh, I feel like I've been stealthy. He's prone. get on up to him. I go on up there. Uh, so do I have to? And you get an advantage because you're flanking. Yeah. So uh, move him in front, please. There you go. Uh, do in front. Do I still need a, to here? roll yes. two attack? I am guessing before. Yeah, you need okay. to roll two attack, but you get advantage. All right. Well, first roll is a nine. Or an 18. I'll take that, please. That'll be a 20. You hit him. All right. Cool. And now for my damage. Six, uh, eight. Uh, Is six your uh, sneak attack or is it your base attack? Don't forget to add your strength to it, too. Oh, Oh, yeah. Unless it's a finesse weapon. It is a finesse weapon. It's a dex weapon. Then you add dex to your damage. Okay. So then that would give me 11 all all total. Uh, What was your base hit, not uh, the bonus? Two. uh, Plus... Yeah, two, two plus so my dex would have been five. Full, uh, yeah, that's fine. So how much damage did you do? Uh, All together, it is uh, 11. 11? Yes. 11 points of damage. Uh, he doesn't find it so funny anymore. Not when you cut his hand off. Hey, nice. Yeah, well, if he's, if he's still alive after that, he does, upon damage, get a second saving throw to end the laughter effect, and he does get advantage on that. Okay. Well, yeah, now it's his turn. So he's going to be like, uh, he makes it. That, <laughs> that's not funny. <laughs> that's not funny at all. <laughs> Take, Why? Takes know. his movement to stand up. A little and now, bit. And now he sees you. <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> you. what's your AC? 14. 16. Hey, great. So you are gonna you're gonna take a nice chunk of damage. Boy, I wish I were fighting this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you took four points of damage. All right. Uh. Okay, now we're up to Red's turn. Red is not letting this man get away. Red will th- will ready another small fireball and chuck it at him, and hit him in the back of the skull with it. Ooh. So I'm going to roll that damage. You watch as this man, like, oh, oh, oh! I got a couple of fingers in my view. <laughs> well, not you. At least yeah. they do. <laughs> you, th- this man has just been incinerated. Hey, she got him, guy! <laughs> Question, when he... Ch- uh, I'll, I'll ask this again when it's my turn. Yeah. Uh, well, now it is uh, your turn. All right, so he's gone. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, man, man running away from ship is dead. 
Let's see. Captain. So we got captain. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll viciously mock the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, you just got half your face blowed off, you big dummy. <laughs> uh, wisdom saving throw. Failed. Failed. Uh, he takes 1d4, so 3 psychic damage, and has disadvantage on his next attack roll. Alrighty. Next is uh, your turn. When he choke slammed me, uh, I noticed that we're standing in water. Did he put me underwater? From where you're standing? No. Okay, damn. <laughs> I was going to feign drowning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, in that case... You are currently restrained. To get out, you'll have to roll a athletics check. Yep. I'll have to roll to save it. Sorry, I bounced into a bunch of stuff. Yep. That is a 24. You get out. Okay, cool. Thank so you, you free yourself, but you're still on the floor. Yeah. All right, I'm going to... Uh, Let's see. I haven't used any. You can attack yet. from on the floor. You just take disadvantage. I'm gonna do you one better. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's see. I'm gonna use uh, my water whip since I'm well surrounded by the substance. Yes. Any creature within 30 feet must make a dex saving throw or suffer some damage. Dex Whoa. saving throw. Uh, let's see. Save against me is 10 plus 14. Roll the four, so that's a hit. All right. That is 3d10 in damage. Mm. Hey, may hey, I borrow hey, some d10s? Here you are. That's two d10s. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got another one. Here you go. That's three d10s. What's that? Oh, three. Okay, so. Three. So five plus eight, that's 13 damage. You, you slice his leg clean off. <laughs> With water. <laughs> so, He's not going anywhere. I, right. I reach my arm into the water. Like, you know, he thinks I'm getting up. I just... Whoosh. So here's the thing is that I'm getting a uh, call that, that we actually have just hit our three-hour mark. No, no worries. We can go over. That's yeah. one of these things. I mean, we, we go until this, this session. This scenario is Okay, is fair clear. enough. We are almost done then. Yeah, no worries. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I was about to ask. Should we just keep going? Or no, no, no. Absolutely. In these scenarios like this, yeah. well, no, time I mean, is a fluctuating thing in yeah. this scenario. Well, no, I meant keep going because we're almost done or take a break because we've got some more to no, do. No, no, this Not is enough. almost done. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're, we're, Once we're we enter near... the third hour, we go until it's done, <laughs> unless right. we're in the middle of something, like, important. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, right. if, if, the, if the, we were in a situation where I'm just like, this is going to go on for a while, I would have said we stop here, but no, we're nearing the end. Okay, okay, so I'm getting back up. I pull some water with me as I reach my hand across and slash his leg off with yep. it. Yep. These Cap guys are... Captain Man's not doing that hot. Yeah, he, these guys are fragile yet durable. Mm. <laughs> Odd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, you find it weird that, like, he's actually, like, taking this in stride. Like, he's not doing good, but he's not phased by it. So he's the Black Knight from Monty Python. Shink! <laughs> hmm. I've had worse! <laughs> kind of, yeah. That's orcs in general. Okay. Um, okay, so now we are up to Skrung. Skrung's like, all right. No, I'm, I'm taking advantage of this. This is fine. <laughs> he actually, instead, no. He, uh... He actually pulls out his gun, but then he goes, Shit, I'm out. He ran out of ammo on those little magic bullets of his. Terrific. So he pulls out a knife. <laughs> just throws a knife. Yeah, he just threw a knife. Captain rolled a one. Ooh. Hey. Ha! <laughs> ah! One point of damage, unfortunately. <laughs> so it's just like you, you see the knife go into the back of a shark. Ah! <laughs> Throws the knife on the Pretty floor. Pretty much caught it with his teeth before it did any yep. real damage. And now it's his it, turn. It chips some teeth. <laughs> and now it's his turn. I'm imagining he's not very happy with me. No, he does it. But he, he also uh, has one leg short. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? He's so mad that I'm going to roll something real quick. Is he like taking blood loss right now, or just? Something? Oh no, yo, yo, he's he's not doing good. You can see cool. the fatigue in his face. Cool. He's he's not indestructible. He's just taking this in stride, being an orc. So much for my hope of taking him in for questioning. So he's just like, 
By the way, that uh, that damage that cut his leg off was bludgeoning damage, so I just beat his leg off. Yeah, you <laughs> beat his leg off. So, phrasing. Yeah. yeah. Phrasing. Yeah. First, uh, yeah. first session, you're already beating off orcs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> beating off orcs, mounting Eloy. He's having a good old time. He's not, he's not too thrilled with this, so he actually goes to pick up his leg that fell off. <laughs> Is he going to try to beat me with his <laughs> Oh, no. It's a Quan Chi <laughs> fatality. Yes. You just go, bah, bah, bah. I'm just block, fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, he's not hitting you with this, but this is like in desperation of him just trying to hit you out of principle. But he's like, <laughs> he's in desperation mode right now. He's going to try I one more I time. A, I hope I get a chance to converse with him. I was going to say, it's going to be a real shame. Uh, we well, know he spoke English. You can sub if you want to try and subdue him to take him out. Like, if someone wants to hit him with subdue damage, if you claim that, then that could be arranged. All right, well, my next round, if these guys are focusing on him, that's what I'm going to do. All right. Uh, I, can't a, I can't tell Red what to do, of course. Does a 17 hit? Uh, it matches. Then it hits. Okay. So you are, unfortunately... I'm getting, I'm getting hit with a leg. You're going to get hit in the face with a leg. This is an improv weapon. He's kicking me with his <laughs> hands. <ripped> off legs. <laughs> so four points of damage. All right. I'm okay. He swung a kick at you. I'm not. I'm not in amazing shape. I have clearly been through the ringer here today, but I am standing. Yep. All right. It is now Orc. No, it's not Orc Boy's turn. It's now Grant's turn. My turn, huh? All right. Well, that guy's already clearly focusing on me. My close combat damage isn't the greatest, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I guess I slice at him with my dagger. With an 18. That hits. All right. I get to do a D4 in damage plus. Oop. Hey, three plus three, six. Based on how much damage this boy has taken already, you take a, you slice him to the throat, and he like just <laughs> hits the floor. He's out. All right. Yay. <laughs> you, gotta, you may not be a good damage dealer, but you did the killing blow on him. Uh, this guy? Yep. He done dead. He done dead. He cut his throat, he's like, Which is good, because you actually ended his turn before he got a hit on you. Nice! Red's turn. Best defense. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Hurls it at him. Well, there goes my chance to talk. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe she'll know what's up. No. <laughs> no, because she goes to snap her finger, and she rolled a one. Oh. Fire goes off in her hand. She's dead. Fire's on her. Yeah, no, she is gonna like you. You see, like it exploded on her. She's like, ah! Ah! "Fuck, damn it!" So she's taking. She's got the mouth of a sailor. She's taking five points of damage because that backfired on her. That and poor lady. She, she kind of just like holds her hand. She's kind of like on the floor, like reeling back, like, "Ah, used it too much." Uh, we're back up the list. Ben, you're up. Okay. Yeah, Eloy has no interest in subduing this guy, so good luck to you when you try that next time. But, uh... <laughs> but, uh, hey, dummy, now you got no no half your face and no leg! Vicious mockery. <laughs> Wisdom saving through. Save. Okay, no effect then. All right. I am going to go hand-to-hand. -hand you are still on the floor. I got up when I was using the water whip. That's right. Sorry. Yeah, he was beating me with the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, right. I would have had a much lower armor class. I, I, I apologize. It's all good. All right, that's... 20... Uh, 26 to hit. I'm going to assume that hits. Yep. Thank you, Cat's Grace. <laughs> uh, that's six damage. With subdue damage, is he, is he still up? <laughs> <laughs> He's still up. <laughs> All right, follow up punch. Uh, that is 20 on the nose. Not natural 20, but 20 to hit. Grandma, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> on the floor. Okay, so and, and any other damage would do it. Yeah. Poof. I want to wear the pink one, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> All right. I basically, I grab him by the neck. Like, he's, he's subdued. I slap him in the face just to wake him up a little. He's out cold. And also, you may want to take care of that leg, because he is bleeding out. <laughs> Fucker. All right, I'm going to uh, do a medical check on this guy's leg. Just try to tourniquet it. Okay. 
There is plenty of cloth to do it. Uh, that is... I thank Eloy for his help. (laughs) (laughs) You are very welcome. That is a uh, 18 on medicine. Yeah, you uh, tourniquet his leg. You stop the bleeding. All right. I'm just going to continue, like, smack him in the face until he, until he regains a Dude, little bit of just, consciousness. Dude, he's just still asleep. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm going to slap him until he, like, no, hey. no damage. Hey. Just like, wake up. If we go, we go. You see the captain start humbling his, uh, like, hobbling his way down. He looks, like, all beaten and bruised and shit. <laughs> Get up. If things are calm for a hot second, can we take a, sh- a short rest? Because I could use some HP. <laughs> Boys, don't worry. The cavalry's here. Hey. More men start flooding in from downstairs, coming in to take the bodies away. Hooray! Uh, these boys are dressed up in a gray, uh, very naval, uh, very naval like outfit oh, and gray no. attire. These no, no, these aren't these aren't navy. Oh, you would have known they were navy if they were light blue and wearing mithril. Yeah, these guys didn't seem like they enjoyed the navy. Okay, so these boys, these must be. Uh, this must be some other folk from uh, from Jahal Cove, because as you notice, the other ship is starting to pull its way out. <laughs> that side, that whole side over there, is getting pulled out. Oh, that that sounds like. Can I be? Can I be somewhere else when this happens? I don't want the water to come in on me. You watch as it gets pulled away. The water doesn't come in. The side of the ship has been lifted, so it's on the ferry side of another ship. Ooh, you boys thought of everything. I'm, I'm just, I don't even give a shit. I'm just like, just <laughs> so fuck off. Slap <laughs> Question for you. Son, son. Get off him. He's done. There's a reward for you for keeping him alive. <laughs> I'm not done until I talk to him. You can talk to him when we get to Jahal. Earn yourself a little bit of rest. <laughs> just let him go. <sighs> and that is where we'll stop for tonight. All right. Oh, boy. Well, that was session one of our adventures in La Saranis. I was prepared to scam. <laughs> well, I will tell you there is loot for this as well. And, well, the, fact, and the fact that you kept him alive. Oh boy, you boys are going to get rewarded for that. Ooh. Good. Just as a end of session note, uh, just in case I try to forget it le- and next time, I'm going to try to scoop up that tumor if it's on the ground into another jar if nobody notices. Roll me a stealth check. One last roll for the night. One last roll for the night. Let's see if I can do it. I still got my cat's grace. This is the best time to do it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. 19. 21. Captain, roll the four. So you grab that tumor. Roll a will save. <laughs> I, I'm scooping it. <laughs> roll a will save. Man, just being near it. Okay. Okay. Real last roll of the night. Uh, that is a 17. Nothing happens. You pick it up and put it back in the jar. <laughs> you hide it in your pocket when no one looks. You put it back in the jar. All right. All right. That's it. Cool. Ew. Well, that was awesome. Uh, we will want to do a final bit. Yeah, we'll do a we'll do a final call out. But thank you all so much for joining us for our premiere adventure at the table. Uh, for those that don't want to stick around for the last minute call out, uh, we appreciate it. We'll be back tomorrow night with uh, what it will now be Wednesday ham. <gasps> yeah. I have retired the Tuesday Hem champion, <laughs> and now I must face somebody to see if I can be the Wednesday, Wednesday Hem champion. <laughs> so tomorrow, we'll see that, and we'll see you guys next week at the table. Later. <laughs>